Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Let's get the fish out of the way first so we can actually start this properly. <laughs> Why is it always... Okay, let's see if the secret is actually going to work out. That is a bot command that I put in here. Ah, nice. <laughs> the secret does work. The first victim. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright. <clears throat> guys, what's going today? Uh, today we're going to be continuing the old bosses. Dagger only run. What's up, Lorenzo? What's up, Vitor Gamer? What's up, Deadline? 101 bosses left. Yeah, wait, yeah? 64. Yeah, 101 bosses left, actually. We're gonna be do... I need to actually reduce the music for me a bit. Skyrim music is a bit too loud. Alright. Wonderful. <coughs> Edna, what's up? I was wondering where Lorenzo was. Uh, first of all, guys, like the stream if you can. That always helps out a ton. And today, the build is finally starting to take shape. We already have the daggers. We have pretty much the talismans that we need. We just need the Millicent's prosthesis, and then we are pretty much already done. Other than that, we need to get the Blade of Calling. And uh, we'll see how we're going to do after that. <clears throat> there is one thing that I want to do before we actually do anything else. Which is farm for a particular uh, armor set. Located over here. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go here. What's up, AJ? What's up? I killed Lawrence today. Uh, nice man. Was that the challenge run that you're doing with killing Lawrence, right? Why do you choose daggers and not any other thing? Uh, I thought daggers were cool, but I also thought they were very, very underpowered. And then I realized what you can do with them and actually make a goddamn awesome build. So I just decided to stick with daggers. Really, it was just a uh, judgment call at the end of the day. I just wanted to take a weapon class that I never used in my life. And uh, I wanted to create a build around for the DLC. So I thought, why not do a challenge run all around it as well? Where do you get the Lord of Blood Exaltation? Uh, I forgot. Somewhere in the... Somewhere in the... Forgot. I actually completely forgot. What you're doing? Type exclamation mark run if you want to know the challenge run. <coughs> We're completing... Okay. These duelists need to have the armor set that I need. They basically have the... Kind of like the Gravelord armor set, but I'm not sure if I can actually farm from these guys. We'll see. These guys are tough to kill, though. It's gonna be a problem. I might actually just farm the armor set now that I think about it off screen because the room doesn't fit in the challenge run. So I might as well do that. Actually, probably a better idea. These guys are actually. So I have to go. These guys are probably one of the hardest enemies in the game. Yup. Definitely one of the hardest enemies. Okay, I'll pump the armor set off screen. That doesn't actually make any sense to do right now. Streamlabs got you guys, huh? The Earth Steel Daggers, guys, yeah. We'll farm the armor set off screen. That doesn't make any sense to do right now. It was the best dagger? It depends on what you need. Daggers are. <coughs> daggers are. Not really a type of weapon that you can actually figure out what the best one is. He's throwing the most of the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs is spitting bars today, guys. Uh, will I make a video? Yes, probably. Most definitely I will. Today I finally upgraded the PC, guys. Now it went from uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM into 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is a huge improvement for my PC. Let's do it like this, guys. Fuck the armor set for today. Let's go and clear out all the bosses that we missed out on previously. First, let's start off with Godefroy. Because I think he's going to be an easier boss fight than most. We need stone sword keys. Don't need stone sword keys. Let's go to the round table first. <clears throat> There's a boss version? Yes, there are like 10 boss versions of the Grape Warden. Like, all of them. The Earth Steel Daggers are really, really fun, yeah. What is my entire hardware on your PC? I posted it in some Discord channel. I uh, forgot which one it was. I think it was under General Gaming where I posted the specifications for the PC. It's nothing special, but uh, it does uh, definitely do the job. Let's go for that. Do you have Stone Sword Keys? Nope, we don't have Stone Sword Keys here. Where can we find Stone Sword Keys, guys? I honestly have no idea anymore. Let's try this merchant over here. <coughs> All right. Uh, 
do you count the sewers in Leandil? Yes. Actually, should we count the sewers in Leandil? That is actually a good question. I think we should, because honestly, if you're already going into Leandil, we should actually clear out the sewers, I think. Uh, why the F it is Skyrim music? Uh, because it's a long playthrough, and I've listened to the songs in this game for way too long, so I decided to mix it up a little bit. Honestly, why not? Skyrim music is awesome. This guy doesn't have a stone sword key. I also never did a dex build, actually, Deadline Man. Probably a good idea to do it in the future. Also, it's hot as fuck here today. Uh, where do we even get stone sword keys? I have no idea, actually. Let's try this merchant. I'm gonna check every merchant. Uh, Tricky, what's up? How did you guys like the the previous video? I thought it actually came out really well. I rewatched the entire video twice, and it's missing something still, and I still have, I can't put my finger on what exactly. Hardest boss for me is Melania, by by a large margin. Like no other boss in the Souls game has <clears throat> beaten me more up than Melania, honestly. I think one and more with two merge. We check more castle immediately. It needs more cat. Unfortunately, the cat can't play Elden Ring. If I, if it could, I'd probably put it more into the, into the video. Uh, I actually have a good idea for a Dex build challenge run. We might actually do. Gino has been doing like these uh, only leveling a specific stat type of runs. Oh, three stone sword keys. Nice. Uh, so we might try to do like. Elden Ring, but I can only level dexterity. That might actually sound. That might actually prove to be an interesting run to do. Let's buy all the stone sword keys. Is Ruver's dagger good? The hell is a Ruver's dagger? <laughs> I have no idea what that means, man. When will I put Hollow Knight music? I always forget to put Hollow Knight music, honestly. I always kind of like uh, stick with Skyrim music because I like it. Also. I like it so much. Let's go to Godfroy. Go to Freud first. <clears throat> yeah, the haircut was definitely needed. Like my hair was so long, my god. Like the poor barber couldn't even believe how much hair how long my hair actually was. <clears throat> uh meme, thanks for the compliment. I miss his old videos of Elden Ring, but it was no hit random weapon videos. I mean he did a lot of them at the end of the day. I like the, I, I like the current content that he's doing more than his like no hit runs, but his no hit runs are always going to be the top priority. I think he's starting uh, the gold run today, right? If he's done with the practice, so that's gonna be fun to watch. Definitely fun to watch. Three people currently doing the gold run that I know: Dino, Gino, <laughs> Dino, Gino, and Happy Hop are bo all, all three doing the gold run. So let's see who's gonna get it first. Also, guys, you know how, been, how we've been talking that, uh, like, Gino needs to be nerfed and he's way too good at this game? Yeah, Distortion is even better. Like, I, w I was watching Distortion's uh, only up speedrun yesterday that he did, like, the world record one. That guy is not human, guys. Like, he's literally... He's inhuman how good he is at games. That's insane. Distortion, yeah. Dist 2. But my cat shows everything. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Uh, the question is Godfrey immune to sacred? Probably, but we're gonna kill him either way. Yeah, Gino needs to be nerfed next patch. I think Miyazaki, that, that's why probably, that is the reason why probably the Elden Ring patch has been taking so long. Because they're trying to nerf a human being. Imperial, what's up? I, 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 there has to be like a Sirico, uh, there has to be like a uh, pattern here. Like I think people who play these games way too often just become inhuman at video games. There's probably a correlation there, somehow. Also my P also my PS4 is starting like it's gonna blow up. Oh, uh, I think this guy should not be that bad. We're gonna black knife him and beat him up. Also guys, this is a coffee protein shake. It's actually one of my best inventions ever. Only 40 resistance, interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, got the throw. Uh, I need to plan out how am, I, how am I going to proceed after Altus. I'm guessing we're gonna go into the mountaintops, beat up the fire giant, and then come back uh, into Caleb and things like that. Probably a good idea. 
probably a good idea to visit Caleb because after we clear out the mountaintops, we're gonna be able to upgrade our daggers and other daggers to a higher amount because we're gonna get the bell bearings, right? So revisiting the previous areas is probably going to be a good idea. Ah, uh, what? How is he missing everything? That's insane. Having the black knife on offhand or actually on the second slot is like a great utility tool. Literally just lower the enemy's health and then continue on stabbing. Also, I'm starting to love the moveset of the daggers. The more I play with them, the more fun they are. Honestly. Unfortunately, they are not as good as previous games. I remember DS1 daggers. So that's the worst shit ever you can actually play with. They're unfun to play with. That's the worst kind of sin to commit. Let's go, Black Knife. It's gonna be a very, very fun build to take into the DLC. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Gotra is weak to uh, slash and strike. E curious. The thing is, this deck, this build is gonna get. Usually, with builds that I make, they get progressively worse as we move into the end game. But this build is gonna get progressively better as we go into the end game, uh, because it requires a lot of uh, items to actually get going. Really, like the hardest part about this playthrough is the beginning by far. Dodging the third one is not that easy. You're shredding him apart, man. He stands no chance. Don't worry, uh, I already thought about that Secondo. Like, we're not gonna be a pure holy build. We're gonna be going into fire as well. Like, we have the option with Faith to have both a flame build and a sacred build. Uh, which is gonna definitely offset uh, the problems if you run into a holy resistant enemy, so I'm not really afraid of that. Plus, we have the black knife. If shit goes south, you always have the black knife. Lorenzo, did you get that idea on from Seth's channel? <laughs> the lobotomy run. <laughs> the true from software experience. Did you just lack for anybody? Probably just you, man. Alright, another boss down. I've never seen my total stream ever. Hope you enjoy, man. Uh, da, 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 65. Please do plus zero dagger against Rikar. That is not a fun idea, trust me, man. We killed Godefroy, right? Where is Godefroy? Check! Next one. Let's go Falling Star Beast. <clears throat> no, you will not get my feet picks deadline. That is not gonna happen. At least not yet. Why not use Cold and Fire Infused Dagger? You could, but I'm trying to do a more different build, Halloween man. Uh, honestly, if I, would, if, I try, if I was trying to make the most busted thing ever, I would just use Bleed. And I would not think twice. But I'm not trying to make the most busted thing ever. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Only 100 more to go for what? Uh, faith. Let's go 40 Faith. That's a good number. Falling Star Beast. I have no idea what the resistances on the Falling Star Beast are, but we're going to check it out today. I mean 100 more boss, yeah. <coughs> Okay, goodbye. Now that's been taken care of. Let's go Falling Star. Wait, Falling Star is weak to Holy, that's nice. Oh. Yeah, I've hidden Lorenzo. I told him to stop repeatedly and I can't take it anymore, so he's just gonna be gone, man. Just gone. Simple solution, Lord Vader. I'll pay you 5,000. What? About what? Wait, how did I dodge that? That's insane. Oh, 
Okay, Falling Star. Honestly, I should really I should really have fought Falling Star beats more often in my life. Because they have some of the most wild movesets ever, man. Jesus Christ. Alright. Bro, what the My god. Okay, Falling Star seem to be weak to Holy, which is good for me. Uh, what is this? Is Sacred Blade even good? Actually, yes. Actually, a very good Ash of War. Look, uh, the problem with the tracking, but still, pretty good Ash of War. Does decent damage. Like, it's the equivalent of Bloody Slash in this build. Wait, Falling Star has 40 resistance? What did even hit me right now? Okay. How does one no-hit this beast, man? How does one even no-hit this beast? Honestly. When do you stop? Oh. I already did the whole only run Imperial. It's the Golden Order Incantation run. How? When do you stop moving, man? I swear to God. And that is going to be a dodge. Yeah, Gina is very good. It, my, like, one, all 165 bosses no hit run is like peak achievement in this, in this game, probably. Okay, it's going to take a couple of tries. Mm. Lord Vader, he's been, he's been doing that for like months now. I've been following everything he says and does and he's just not, he's just way too distracting. And I told him repeatedly to stop and he's just not stopping. So that's the only solution, Lord. The only solution, man. <coughs> I usually don't ban people, like, if uh, I don't have significant cause. I, don't, I really don't do that. He, toto, he towed around the room very triceply. <laughs> what smoggy is that? Uh, Bobby, thanks for the compliment, man. It's OP with daggers. Oh, we have the Wing Sword Insignia, but we need, we need, uh, we need the Millicent's Prosthesis to actually do some significant damage with it. I did watch Fairy Tale, but I'm not really enjoying it that much, honestly. I watched a couple of episodes of it. To be fair, I haven't actually given it too much of a... Oh, oh my god. Alright, I'm taking out the Black Knight. This is going a little bit too far. A little bit too far. That is much better damage. <laughs> How do you dodge this? Yeah, we're gonna, not gonna be getting Rotten Winged Sword because we can't get it on one single playthrough. Uh, to get a rot Rotten Winged Sword, you need to complete a Millicent's questline, so you can't get the Millicent's prosthesis. Basically, you have to choose one or the other. But it's better to have like two of those talismans than the best one. Or be better to have two similar talismans that work the same than to have the one singular best one. So how do you kill this thing? Bro, how do you dodge anything? Okay, that's how we dodge it, it seems. Black knife, it seems, guys. Black knife is the solution here, boys. Bro, oh, what? Uh, no, you don't find the Millicent's thing in the Halic tree. You find it by killing Millicent. That's what you do. So we're gonna have to progress Millicent's questline a bit. What's up, Chris? What's up, Evo? You came at a bad time because I'm getting beaten and battered. Repeatedly and I can't dodge for shit with this guy. Is it just me or these guys are super underrated, like, when it comes to the difficulty part? Astel is not this difficult, guys, right? It, the attacks are just so weird, I don't know why. Usually I'm pretty good at fighting beast type of enemies in this game, but this guy... Can't dodge. What? Also, it's kinda hard to hit because of daggers. Okay, that attack. Jumping. Uh, nope. Sacred Blade. Pretty good damage. Finish off Black Knife. Jesus Christ. What is the timing? 
Black Knight finish. Nice. Saved by the goddamn Black Knight Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, these beasts are not okay here, guys. And also, why is this guy always just T posing over there? What is that point? But I have some alien sashimi. What the hell is alien sashimi? <laughs> That's the first thing I heard about that. Uh, t -t 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 65. 60k. Wait, he gives you 60k? Just a second. Let me actually mark that I killed him. Falling star beast. Goodbye. Uh, he, I 6,000, not 60k. Uh, Royal K man, what's up? Royal K man, Royal K man. Well, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but welcome to the chat. Okay, let me kill the T posers and let's go to the other boss, which is gonna be the Double Tree Sentinel. Don't really have a good idea about the Double Tree Sentinel, but let's try. Just Royal is good, nice. All bosses, Malika, build new game plus. All bosses, all 165 bosses, or what do you exactly mean? All bosses is like a little bit different defi defined in this game. I overdose on GTA. <laughs> yes, my accent is Croatian. Yes, I'm from Croatia, so my accent is gonna be Croatian. How do we deal with these idiots? These guys are definitely resistant to some sort of like holy attack. Let's try the sneaky buff. Um, these guys carry torches. Interesting. Maybe you can separate them. Oh, we can just... Oh. We can just fight one at, one at the same time. Nice. Okay, these guys are sh being shredded, man. What the hell? The problem is we need to we need to go to Caleb and the mountain tops to actually finish up our build. Okay, this is actually super... Why is he every, Why is missing everything? He hit me with the torch. Okay, that is not the thing that you need to hit me with, my man. And the other aggro. Okay, now we have a problem. Classic from software. They put one of these guys at the beginning of the game just to screw with you, and then they hit you with the double one. Why not? At this point, Black Knife is incoming. The other, with the one with the torch, is the one that is damaged, so we need to finish him off here. Goodbye. Please don't die. My god. Lord save me. Radagon. Come help, please. <laughs> okay. There has to be a better way to do this, guys. <laughs> Fighting two of them at the same time is not okay. This is absolute, absolutely horrible. This is incredibly. And also the other one is blocking the other one out. And why are they all the way to the grace now? Running will not save me in this case. They have horses. I do not. Okay, we separated them. We separated them entirely. We just need to finish one off, guys. My build is like the crow build in Bloodborne. Kind of, yeah. Not exactly, but almost. Poison Mist, yeah, but I'm not allowed to use Poison Mist with the game, yeah. We don't have a Poison Dagger that won't actually aggro them. But Poison Misting, that would probably be the best way to deal with them. Okay, now it's just easy. I can take care of one of them easily. Because I can dodge your attacks. Wait, if I stay close on stairs, he actually doesn't come hit me then. Okay, that can hit me, but I think, don't think the rest thing can actually hit me. Scratch that. Scratch that. Okay, these guys do a lot of damage. Uh, if I don't kill both of them, they revive, right? Both. Never actually fought these guys, to be fair with you guys. No, what? what? The dust can't hurt me, Miyazaki. The dust cannot hurt me. I mean, it can, but not in that sense. Oh, the Draconic Tree Sentinel is gonna be fun when I get to him, right? No! Please, calm down. 
Run away. We have health regen. We have health regeneration, so we can run away. And deal with these idiots. This is why Black Knife is super useful, because it's a great ranged option, guys. Oh. Now we can punish, I think. Woo! Uh, please go back to the spawning point. Please go back to the spawning point. He's not going back to the spawning point. But he's almost dead, and he's dead now. Good fight. GG. Black Knife for the win, boys. Black Knife is gonna be carrying us until we actually grab all the necessary things that we need. Most fun weapon in the game. Currently, daggers. Currently, I'm having so much fun with daggers, guys. Mm. Of course, I can lower the music. No problem. It does seem to be a bit loud. Let's go like this. Just lower it a bit. This should be enough, I think. Do I see a new haircut? I don't really have a haircut. I just cut my hair short. That is my haircut. Like, my 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 idea for a haircut. Uh, How are they called, even? Tibia Mariner? Ah, oh, they're in Altus Plateau. Crucible Knight and Crucible Knight or Dovis. Ooh, we have to fight another double boss fight. Draconic Three Sentinel is dead. Where are the Three Sentinels? Ah, Three Sentinel duo, there we go. Another boss down. Toto Vergato? I have no idea what that means. Uh, getting the Wakizashi is not really that important. Uh, the Wakizashi is more useful when you do like a katana playthrough. To be completely fair with you. Wakizashi is very... Waki the, only, the only good thing about the Wakizashi is if you want to parry with a katana. That is the only good thing. Ah, oh, you mean the cat? Uh, didn't you read the the pinned comment in the last video that I uploaded? The, I, I can't keep the cat. Every, everything is explained in the last video comment. <coughs> Why I got unsinkable Sam synced? Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, we need to level up. Bakizashi doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. Morgoth, what's up? Uh, yes, we will get the Blade of Calling immediately, I think. We can actually get the Blade of Calling right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and grab the Blade of Calling, guys, first. Uh, then we go to the Godskin. Let's go and grab the Blade of Calling. We need to go Avenue Balcony and just go over here to grab the Blade of Calling. Let's do it immediately. Uh, you can get Parrying Dagger, though. Do I even have the Parrying Dagger right now? I think I have. Yeah, basically, what I have in mind, like, for you who are just joining in, have you seen the guy who defeated Malenia with his goldfish? A guy defeated Malenia with his goldfish? Send me the send me that video, please, into the Discord. I, I really want to know about that one. Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, basically the idea that I have for this build, for those of you who are new here. It's a dagger build, first of all. It's a dagger challenge run, but it's going to be a dagger build. And uh, because we're going to be a pure faith build, we are. when I go into the DLC, we are going to also be slotting into... I do have the padding dagger. We're also gonna be investing into uh, incantations. So we're going to be a pure faith build dagger incantation build, basically. This guy has a lot of runes. He might be worth a kill. And he's actually very easy to kill. Pop. Okay. Also, free aiming with dagger seems to be always the better choice. The thing is, once we actually finish up the mountaintops, we're gonna be in much of a better place. Because we're gonna be able to get all the things that we need. And the reason why I say the mountaintops is because we actually need Caleb. But to clear out Caleb, we do need more level ups and more runes. And more upgrade materials and things like that. Hated this boss. The trees are not really that hard, thankfully. They can be dealt with easily. Couple of black knives, and he's dead. Dodge! Dodge that! Bam! Jump! <laughs> the jumping attack misses. And why is he buffed? Does he have like a red aura around him? Or am I just going insane, guys? What the hell is buffing this guy? Alright. Yeah, this guy's not even a boss fight, yeah. But he does give you a very, very big rune, which is the Lord rune, which is quite nice. The Elven Beast is always in the chat. We just we are just missing the Elven Beast fart. Don't worry, he will come also as well. 
Ah, it doesn't death. Oh, interesting. Also, by the way, one of the hardest, hardest bosses in the game is this idiot. I don't know why, but this guy has always been beating my ass whenever I try to fight him. So we're not gonna fight him because he's not a boss, actually. They're missing Radagon. Radagon is always in the Discord, but he's almost never in the chat. Uh, because I think changed his name, so I actually have no idea who Radagon even in the chat is. Wait, he has an Idiba Frauda. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Crucible Knights are insane. Crucible Knights are basically... If Black Knights were hard. What about the full-grown beast star guy? Full-grown... Not sure what you exactly mean. Yeah, this section is really bad. That's, th that's actually completely... I agree 100% to that. This section this section is completely horrible. It, it's just a running section. It, it, it serves no purpose. I'm not sure why Miyazaki's... Uh, Miyazaki. I'm not sure why the developer team sometimes decides to do this kind of like a... Running section for these open worlds, but I think it would be much better if they just don't do this. First time going through here is okay, but second time, third time, it becomes just a chore. Also, the Lake of Rot as well. This is not a running session? How is this not a running session? It literally is. Or let the player use Torrent. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's probably a be the best way to actually solve this. I was confused when I couldn't use Torrent in this place. We are using the Black Knife, but we are also going to be using the Blade of Calling. The Blade of Calling is a very interesting type of weapon. There is a theory, guys, that the Blade of Calling, that the Black Knife is basically the Blade of Calling, but infused with Destined Death, which I think makes sense. It would make sense, because honestly... I mean, you can explore it, but there is not too much to explore on a bridge. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense as usual. Man, the running attack of the L1 of the double-handed dagger is actually not that bad. Now that I think about it, it's not that bad. The problem is it doesn't do any poise damage. Or PV. PvP per- uh. I don't want to mess with giant scarabs. There is no point in doing that. Uh, we have the jump attack talisman, yes. But you're gonna be switching out for the consecutive attack talisman. Also, oh yeah, I forgot. We get a Torny tier uh, in... We get a Torny tier in the mountaintops. So when we enter the mountaintops and after that go to Kaelid, then we're gonna have everything that we need. We're gonna leave Mount Gelmir for after... For after Kaelid because of Rykard. Also, I forgot I need to jump into a section here. There you go. Nerd Steel Dagger. You can do better than that joke. Official attire. And Blade of Calling? Blade of Calling, there we go. Another dagger into our mix, boys. What's the difference, actually? So the difference between this one, these two ones is... This is more dex-oriented, this is more holy-oriented, but it do look nice. Why is the Earth Steel Dagger a glorified poking stick? I would not actually describe it like that. It's more like a slashing stick. Dagger jumping attacks aren't that good. They're okay. They're not the best, but they're okay. The Black Knife also does holy damage. The Black Knife also does holy damage. It just, it just has death and death on top of it. <coughs> Melina was chilling here, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, why is it so short? Okay, now we have another problem. Why is it so short? Look at the tininess of this dagger, guys. That is the shortest dagger ever. But the weapon art is sick. Now we have a good combination of daggers here. We're gonna be doing a lot of damage when we actually uh, get into a groove. Let me level up here. Uh, the Glintstone Chris, I do want to get. The problem is it's an intelligence dagger. And when we need to we need to, we would need to respec for that one. Also need to finish a very long quest line. Uh I, I would just say the black knife is just good. I mean the black knife is in itself in and of itself is nothing special. It's just that its weapon art is really good. But you can get other 
forms of death and death attacks on different weapons. Wait, the Godskin is not here? Oh, not again. Oh, the Godric. <laughs> I don't know why, why you guys calling this the British or the London build, but I'll take it. I've not been to Britain, so I'm not, not, I'm not familiar with, like, <coughs> people running around with knives over there. How do you get the Glintstone, Chris? Uh, you need to finish Selen's questline, basically. Selen's and Jeren's questline, and then you need to side with Selen. Takes a long ass time. Because you need to talk to, like, Selen and then Selen's dead body and then re relocate Selen's body into another body. It's just a mess. It's just the second most annoying questline for me to do. First one being Selvis' questline. Selvis' questline to this day boils my blood. Bammy, what's up? Where can I post videos so other people can rate what build I want? Uh, Reddit Eldering Community, probably the best place to do that. If they don't ban you. <laughs> Godskin Apostle. Haven't fought this guy. Last time I fought this guy was the Godslayer only run. Like six, seven, eight months ago. So this is gonna be a ride. I'm wondering if the cheese or the glitch that I used to kill him still exists, guys. I glitched him last time by bringing him over here. You can farm a dagger here. I know what dagger you mean, but the dagger is not really that important. Last time I glitched him... Over here, I think. I can't even remember where I glitched him. In any case, we're not gonna be doing that. It's not fixed. Yeah, it, it's something that only I discovered, I think. Uh, so they probably haven't patched that, let's be honest. Death and death against death and death, let's see. Hoo -hoo. Can we parry this guy, right? These guys are pretty wholly immune. Wait, did I see big damage numbers? Yes, I saw big damage numbers. Problem is hitting this guy. This guy doesn't like to stay. The daggers have a... Okay, the build that I'm going for is gonna have one significant weakness. Uh, it's gonna be weak against enemies that move around a lot. Stationary enemies like Placidus Sax and uh, Radagon and uh, the Elven Beast are gonna be a cakewalk, but... Any enemy that moves around a lot is gonna be a massive issue, like this one. Like, goddamn this one. Oh. Oh! Okay. Phase 2. Now we run away. I'm not remembering why do I even have the Misery Cord on me. I don't need it, actually. Also, we're gonna need a ton of poise for this build. Because staggering, being staggered is gonna be also a problem. Fuck off! No, no, no. This guy's actually surprisingly easy. Wait, are they not resistant to holy damage? It would make sense to me that they are resistant to holy damage, but apparently not. Apparently he's not resistant to holy damage. Okay, helicopter attack. Time to make a London bumper car build. <laughs> what is that to you? <laughs> not this attack again. This is just a get the fuck away from me attack. One hit. And it. Extremely easy. Was not expecting this to be this easy, guys. Wait, these guys are not resistant to fire. That is completely wrong. I remember destroying them with fire attacks. Koshin, what's up? How are you doing today? Uh, Godskin Apostle down. We're gonna be clearing out the entirety of Altus today. That is my goal. Yeah, I did not expect an easy poke here. I'm not, not gonna lie to you. Mm. Uh, rim, rims, Kims. We're not gonna be getting the black armor. I always call this boss the boner. Yes, that's all right. Uh, 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 what is the last one? Let's go for this one because it's gonna take a while to clear him out. What am I drinking? It's a coffee protein shake. It's basically a banana. Uh, 
Okay, why is YouTube censoring the boner? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Lord, thanks for the help. It's basically coffee, a banana, uh, agave syrup, protein, and uh, what did I put in? Ice, milk. That's it. I know YouTube has been updating like the moderation tools for like streaming the last couple of months, so it's probably something different. Peanut butter, no. Uh, I've used bleed daggers Artorias in all of my previous previous parts of this run. <clears throat> so from this point forward, we're not using bleed anymore. I have no idea, Lord. First time I've seen this. I really have no idea. Maybe the moderation. Uh, the moderation, automatic moderation tools that being used are being modified, so it's actually uh, picking different things. But it's not really that. It's not really that uh, difficult to fix. Just to click like allow. Let's grab the grace. The fat one is called Disney Plus. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, worm face. Is worm face like over here somewhere a boss fight, guys, right? We're gonna be checking out after the Elmer. I like to call them Henry Dickman and Donald Trump. <laughs> what the gods can do, that's enough. Oh my god. Chat has really some, sometimes really, really funny ways to actually... Oh, we have the Sanguine Noble here, right? Isn't the Sanguine Noble over here, guys? If I remember correctly. Oh, the minor urchin. We're gonna be going to him very, very soon, don't worry. The Sanguine Noble should be over here. So we might as well take him away from him immediately. I don't remember if he is a boss fight, but I think he is. He most definitely is a boss fight. And he is not gonna be doing anything against us, because... He does no repost damage. Look. That's interesting. He does bleed damage. Which is a problem. Bro, this guy is actually the ultimate Giga Chat. Do you know how when we have the Reduvia, we actually shoot like blood attacks? When he has the Reduvia, he just throws the Reduvia. <laughs> this is Giga Chat behavior if I've ever seen it. Bro does not. Fucking stab me to death, guys. You guys didn't know he can parry? Did you even play this game? Yeah, they can parry. When they go into like the stance, when they pull back the dagger, that means they are ready to parry you. Who was another enemy that people didn't know they can parry you? I mean, Malenia technically parries you, but she doesn't repost you. Uh, okay, over here. You got 700 hours in this game and never saw that? To be fair, I've gotten also like 700 hours in this game and I rarely saw that. But he does that only when you do like... Uh, oft, like If you do consecutive attacks next to him, he does that more often. That's basically just it. This time I'm not gonna be taking him lightly and then we're gonna actually be fighting him. Stagger. See, this is his parry stance. When he does, when he, when he does that... Hit him with a projectile. Also bleed. Uh, why am I using the wrong blade? Second attack. Bro, second blade is actually really good PvE. It's good PvP as well, in some situations. But PvE, it's absolutely melting. Like, you're gonna be destroying the death birds. Don't you even realize that? Bloody Hellis. Okay, that's another boss down. That's 69. Nice. Oh, wait. We are actually at the perfect number, guys. We need to actually do something about here, guys. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. I need to somehow make this smaller, god damn it. Uh, 
We don't need two numbers, we need two numbers. What's another word for boss? Boss is dead. How do I do this? How do I do this, guys? Boss is... Uh, Thought. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go German. Let's go absolutely German. Boss is thought. Boss is dead. And okay. Because thought doesn't take up that much space. Boss is late. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Alright, we are not moving away from the beautiful number. We're just gonna be stacking on top of it. Foe's dead. Oh, also, probably a better way. But foe's dead is probably a good idea. Let's just, let me just go over here real quick before I get attacked by the bleeding dogs. Body count is also a good idea. That sounds more in, like, uh, in line with the current build that we are using. Bosses thought would be grammatically correct. But yeah, it's bosses dead. Yeah. Literally. Laid to rest, guys. Just 100% of the ring, nice. But did you beat all the bosses? That is the question. Uh, is this the path that I want? Maybe. What's my favorite armor set? Uh, three Sentinel Crucible, probably. Can't, it's hard to decide when I favorite armor set because there are so many and so many of them look really really good but i would say crucible maybe all achievements now do all bosses ulti now do all bosses do you, i don't know why there are not and why why is there not an all bosses achievement in Elden ring like all 165 bosses that should that sounds like the perfect achievement guys why is it not in the game overloaded no hit run Honestly, I have an idea that I, I, overloaded no hit run might actually be possible. I'm not gonna lie, guys. No Ash of War run? Bro, I, I've done like hundreds of no Ash of War runs. Uh, I do finishers. I do finishers, what's up? No hit running the game was never an achievement because that's a little bit... Honest, Miyazaki didn't believe that people could no hit run the game. If you don't know about that story. Uh, when Happy Hob no hit the game for the first time, Dark Souls 1. Uh, Miyazaki personally said when he heard about it, he didn't believe it. He, so that could never that could never have been an achievement in the first place. Like, the, the, the guy did not believe that that could be done. And then, like, ten years later, like, actually not even ten years, like, five years later, people are just absolutely, absolutely dunking on these games with the achievements that they are doing. I think Miyazaki is just like, what in the hell? I, I thought I made a hard game. Like, this is not hard enough. Next next boss gotta be, like, triple Malenia, Comet Azur, a Gideon spam boss fight. That's gonna be happening next time, guys, because the community is getting so good at fighting these bosses. They're just gonna be adding, like... We're, we're gonna be going like Elden Ring 2 and bosses are just gonna be pulling out M16s. That's what's gonna be happening, guys. I'm pretty sure Miyazaki has been... Uh, has said that he doesn't actually play these games. Uh, because... Like, he's making them. And, yeah, he's just not playing them. He doesn't have the time, I think he said. In one of his interviews. American-style boss, yeah. I mean, they already kind of did that with Sekiro and uh, Ishin. Like Ishin does pull out a does pull out a gun from his ass at the end of the day. What the hell? Okay, need to go over here. Pop. He doesn't play his own masterpieces. I mean, he makes them. Uh, is there a map? Not really. You can go to the interactive map for Eldering, like Fextra Life has one. How the fuck do you even get to a boss fight? Ishin is a cheat? Yes, he is. He definitely is. How in the hell do you use... Where do you even go for the boss fight? Yeah, the first time I saw the Glock from Sword Saint Ishin, I was very surprised. Boss is invoking the Second Amendment, yeah. 
Guys, today I've gotten a... Uh, I saw a TikTok comment on my videos today. Happy 4th of July, I think the comment said. Would you like to join the US military? What the fuck kind of comments am I getting on my TikToks, guys? Like, what, what, what's going on? Why am I getting every comment that's possible to get besides, like, the gameplay-related comments? I'm getting all the other comments, but no one is talking about the gameplay. Don't do it, Toto, don't worry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to join the Croatian military, let alone the American one. Bro, what ain't no way. <laughs> I will not <laughs> I can't even join the US Army, I'm Croatian, guys, what the hell? Makes no sense. What in the- Why is there a buffed dog in my face? Okay, this place is... <laughs> insane. Why couldn't I dodge one of these attacks, guys? My mental strength is probably higher than most of the US military. I can't prove that. Did you know there is an entrance exam for the army in India? Isn't there an entrance exam for, like, almost any army in the world? Like, I would think that you need to- would, you would like to know what kind of people actually join the army, right? No wonder this place is up. I'm, to be fair, though, I'm just running around like a blind chicken talking to chat mostly instead of actually focusing on the gameplay. Trust me, guys, this would be. I would be much better at playing this game if I wasn't talking to you guys all the time. Trust me, I would be much better talking to you guys and like looking half time at my screen at the chat definitely helps you in getting hit in this game. Uh, DS3 Abyss Watchers, backstab them. Uh, wait for the second one to be spawned. Wait, wait for the help to be spawned and then backstab it. That is the number one advice. Problem is we're gonna be running out of great runes here real quick. Oh, rune arcs. Bye-bye. You and your goddamn dogs. Yeah, we're running out of rune arcs. Not, not great runes, rune arcs. <coughs> we have entrance exam for anything? I mean, that should probably be the norm for every country in the world. I tried to join military. There is an aptitude to test critical thinking skills, physical and medical, and entry to you. I'm pretty sure joining the, U joining the military is harder to join college. Uh, like, because there are so many varieties of colleges and like, you can just find an easy one to join it. Like, joining the military should be probably harder to do. Darth Vader with a shield. And you couldn't be more right with that statement. You could not be more right. Literally, this is Darth Vader, but more powerful, actually. Oh! Probably not going to be too hard. I mean, he's simping for Melania at the end of the day. I can't be dodged like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Maybe not entirely easy, but easy enough. So guys, I bought a very, very interesting game the other day. It's called Battlebit. It's basically a battlefield type of game made by three dudes in their basement. And it's actually blowing up on Steam and Twitch currently. It's a really fun game to play. It's 127 versus 127 people uh, in a shooting game. So it's very, very chaotic, but it's so fun to play right now. And it's only two gigabytes of size, which is just amazing. As someone who doesn't have a lot of storage space because of all the footage for videos, that kind of game is definitely appreciated. Bro, this moveset is insanity. Okay, some of these bosses should have been like... Should have been like, required because they're so well designed in my opinion. This guy is such a vari very moveset, like... Strafing is never gonna be getting old, guys. Strafing... Okay, you can see what we can actually do to people or to enemies. That like to stay still for a while. Like, we can obliterate them. Favorite weapon is currently the Earthsteel Daggers. It was the Health of the Steeple, but uh, Earthsteel Daggers have, taken, have been taking the cake currently. Level. The region rate is quite good. Yes, it is. Because we have the tier, uh, because we have the Crystal Flask tier, whatever. You might as well hunt down all the Bell Bearing Hunters. I mean, we're kind of doing that. 
The hardest one is going to be in Caleb, though. Hand of Melania. Ah, Hand of Melania is kind of like... The problem with those weapons for me is like they're basically all the same. Uh, Golden Pot, thanks for watching, man. Imperial, thanks also for watching, man. Uh, we killed another one. 69 plus 1. Beautiful. It's Elamir of the Briar, right? Elamir of Briar. Okay, now we need to decide where to go next, which is a task. Let me remove this. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now there is a bunch of places where we can go, boys. There is a bunch of places where we could go. Vernface. Let's mark a couple of bosses. Let's go Vernface. Sanguine Noble is dead like a chicken. There is also a death bird over here. Bell Bedding Hunter, Hermit Merchant Shack. That is, I think, not a boss fight. Market Fell Moment is also not a boss fight. Valiant Gargoyle is also not... What the hell, Extra Life? Uh, Ancient Dragon Lanciax. There is this idiot over here, which is probably a good place to go to. Ancient Hero of Zamor, Black Knife Assassin has been felled. Demi Human Queen Gilika is dead. Magma Mur Makar. Oh! Oh! The room is throwing precipice, I forgot about it. Knight's Cavalry is over here. We need to take care of that idiot fairly quickly. And then let's go into the Sainted Hero's Grave. Let's go first for the cave over here because we need upgrade materials. Nice. Ball sacks build, yeah, yeah that, that's what we need in the DLC, guys. The ball sacks build. Oh. If you get Vike and Lanxia's daughter as a DLC boss fight. I, I'm pretty sure we guys won't be, we won't be able to guess what kind of boss fights you're gonna get. Sewer Mo, probably a good idea. Wait, if you clear out... Where does the sewer lead to, guys? The sewer leads to deep root depths, right? Uh, Disruptor, enjoy that one. <laughs> enjoy that one. That uh, that exclamation mark secret is something that I seen from one of the one of one other streamer, and I always wanted to do it. It's lame. Oh come on, it's funny, man. It's funny. All right. Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's the most juvenile joke I can think of. Unfortunately, I don't have the Twitch emotes to back it up. Which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, Bishal Incant run. Nope. I can't. I mean, I could do it. Could do a run like that for, like, fun. I might do it like, for a streaming thing. We'll see. Because you can get the the dagger, and then you can use that as a, a rule set modifier. This place holds a lot of. Why? Okay, I'm gonna be. St I'm gonna start killing everything in my path because these guys are not letting me do anything right now. <laughs> this is also the problem with daggers; they they bounce off these guys. There is a very nice runar. Uh, items? No items? Again, it's kind of nice going through all of... Why I don't have poise? I need some more poise. You got me? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I haven't got you. You got yourself. Is Loretta done? Uh, Loretta? You mean Loretta in Keria Manor? Yeah. Otherwise, we would be here because we are regional. Bro, I swear to God, Glintstone's craps are the most annoying thing to go up against. Leave me alone, man. Just leave me alone. And why is there a leaf? My goddamn cave. I have no poise.
Honestly, poise doesn't mean shit in this game. Okay, first of all, why is YouTube moderating that? That's interesting. I, I haven't changed any moderation settings. Thanks, Lord. <clears throat> Which country am I from? I'm from Croatia. Also, there is a goddamn <laughs> flying dwarf coming at me. I have no idea, Lord. Uh, literally, I haven't I haven't done anything to change any settings, so there it has to be something on YouTube's part. It has to be something on YouTube's part. How long until we break the poise? Let's try. Still no poise break in sight. Day 23 and poise break and GG. I mean, this boss th this boss fight is an interesting idea, but I feel like it's not really well thought out at the end of the day. As soon as you break that poise, they're like literally useless. They can't do anything to you. Also, this guy's broken again. Does Destin Death actually work on these guys? It does. Try Blade of Gold. Uh, uh, please, uh, thank you. I don't want to die by stupid boomerangs. What? What? That knocks them back? Excuse me, what? That knocks them back. How good is this Blade of Gold, actually, Asherwood, guys? Does this have any purpose in the game? We can knock these guys back. I mean, this is a good trolling weapon. It does break their poise. Oh! There might be something we can do here, guys. Seems Blade of Gold does a lot of poise damage. That might be actually useful in some situations. Because we don't usually do a lot of poise damage uh, with daggers in general. Could have been more tanky? Mm, maybe. It's more like... The, the, th the, the thing is, like... Being allowed to stagger enemies is like that. Like with every single attack with a dagger. It's a little bit like... It's too easy to kill them. Adam East Fart. Nope, you're not late. We just started. We're only one hour in, man. They could have spiced it up by just in a build up rot. Thankfully, those guys are in the helic tree. Oh, 69 plus 2. Guys, if I miss if I miss counting a boss fight, please remind me. Because there is a bunch of boss fights in the game. Oh, there is another Black Life Assassin in the Sage's Cave. Oh, Jesus Christ. Necromancer Garris as well. Did I kill the Sanguine Noble? I did kill the Sanguine Noble. Why didn't I mark it? My god, Toto. There is a Tibia Mariner. It's gonna take a long time. Suvermo, no. Suvermo is not that hard at the end of the day, so we no, don't need to rush it. Let's go for the Worm Face. Let's go for Worm Face. What do you mean invasion boss fights? There are no invasion boss fights. Uh, Cosmatas, thanks for joining, man. <laughs> My brain is going scarlet right here. Maybe. At very well, maybe. Okay, never actually fought the worm face, so I'm expecting the worst. Uh, we did kill the Falling Star Beast. Was the Belgian Bane Hunter is an enemy, right? Okay, we're gonna clear them as well. After we go for the Death Bird, we're gonna clear that guy out as well. Ooh. Worm face, you look way too scary, man. He's Death Blight, right? He's Death Blight, on percent Bro, why does this guy remind me of Attack on Titan for, for some weird reason? Is he spitting death light everywhere? Of course he is. What else would he do? This boss fight is so weird. This enemy is so weird, man. They're, they're like... It's like fighting Seath all over again, but worse. I can't see any of his attacks. And he has a bunch of minions around. Okay, this is a this is a Ascendant mod, actually. Now that I think about it. Let's clear out these idiots. And let's not get death blitten, please. That would not be fun. And am I gonna be death blitten right now, guys? Please tell me he's not gonna be death blitten me. Please don't. How is a guy with death light having holy resistance? That makes no sense. I mean, death light is kind of like related to holy resistance, right? And he's spitting on me again. Wonderful. It is actually a really problematic death light fight. <gasps> Almost 
almost deflect, almost deflect. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Good fucking bye. Nope. I refuse to be deflected. What is this fight? Why is he so fast? Why is he so fast, Miyazaki? <laughs> he literally just picked me up like a baby and he's starting to eat me. Mash, mash all the buttons. Maybe run the fuck away. Jesus Christ, he's super fast. What the hell? He's just like standing still and he's sprinting towards me in the day. Please stop this insanity, man. I don't want it. I don't need it. What is he doing? What is he doing? What am I doing? Where am I going? What is happening? Black knife. GG. That was actually quite close in some situations. Crimson spill, crystal tear, and a speckled heart tear. Minus 10 slash resistance. This mon man has, I swear, lately has been a problem, really. To be fair, I'm pretty good at the game already. Yeah, this fight is so weird, 100%. This makes no sense. It's plus 3. Uh, what in the fuck? Why can't you leave a man in peace to counter the bosses? Thank you very much. Worm face dead. Let's go for the death bird. Over here. There is also the Bell Bearing Hunter. So, Bell Bearing Hunter over there and Death Bird. That's easy enough. Very, very easy. Also, a merchant. Boss is total. <laughs> I can't. I, I just want to actually get the fashion down for this build. I'm gonna have the fashion down next time, guys. I need to find the. I need, I need to farm the Gravekeeper Cloak, I think it's called. And uh, once we actually get into the mountaintops, I need to farm the Prelate set. I need the Prelate Gauntlets and the Prelate Leggings. Plus the Gravekeeper cloak, plus the Gravekeeper cloak, plus the Bandit mask, which I already have. That is going to be the fashion. Uh, am I happy about the community I'm creating? Yes, very, very much, Remy, very, very much. No, I don't want the Black Knife set. The Black Knife set is not gonna fit into the team of Lord Two Shanks. The story, the story around Lord Two Shanks is literally he's a prison. He's some guy from prison that's come out with double daggers and shanking his way to the lands between. So, the, the, the Black Knife set is too pretty for that. Yo, we're not gonna be... The, uh, no... Okay, no chest gear is gonna be allowed. We need to be bare-chested when we actually get the... Uh, you, if you if you can see the thumbnail on the stream, you realize what I actually mean. That's what I want to create. Yeah, Toto Discord server... The Discord server needs work, but... I cannot figure out how to do everything at one... Like, in one day, so... I still need to figure out how to actually make the Discord more interesting. We have Depe memes, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, we have. Upper class robe, nice. Where is the lower class robe? Why is there only the upper class robe? Sentry torch, does this reveal the... This... Uh, why, guys, does this torch reveal enemies that are... Uh, hidden. Special game which allows the bearer to see assassin's cloak in veils. Okay. We will buy this. We will buy that. Perfumer is actually also a good idea. Ooh, I have such a good idea how to make the, this build later on so good once we're actually done with the challenge run. Guys, when I actually, do, when I actually make the complete build of this, we're gonna have perfumes, daggers, like throwing daggers. Uh, we're also going to be having incantations. This build is going to be so good to play with. And uh, die. Only the defeat of one of you, now it's your time to die. I love how he's not doing anything. Until I actually slap him around a lot. And then I fail miserably. Like always. Oh no! Alrighty then. I blame the, the ladder. Oh, I blame the fence. That's what I blame. Uh, where you ended the randomizer stream? Uh, we ended with finding Rykard. In uh, Gideon's arena. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Rykard in Gideon's arena is very, very fun. His big red sword does hurt, yeah. 
<laughs> he took that personally indeed. <laughs> Seems like skill. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Uh, 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 nightfall. Golden Pot Monkey, welcome back. Alright, let's do this again. Grab the runes. You don't need them. A rune arc. Bam. Let's go. Uh, Boomba, thanks for the compliment. I'm not using Destiny Death on purpose because it's a little bit OP. I can just literally stay back and Destiny Death everybody in, in the lands between, but I'm not doing that intentionally. I still need to keep the challenge a little bit more interesting, and it's, I think, more interesting for me to just fight the bosses straight up rather than just spamming Destiny Death on everybody. I think you guys agree with that. I will... I, like, I need to be... I need to live up to the name Lord Two Shanks. Dodge. Beautiful dodges. This attack is so delayed, it's actually insane. I dodge that. Second blade. Once we get Crack Blade in this build, then we're gonna be doing some hefty, hefty, significant damage, guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. This guy does a lot of damage. He really does a ton of damage. It's actually insane. Watch that. Black knife. Can we knock this guy back? Don't die! Oh. Unfortunate. Sad get. He died. Get a London. What is the London talisman, Godric? Please. Please tell me. <laughs> what is that? 1k damage with daggers? Oh, my boy, you have no idea. Oh, I can't wait to get to the end, guys, when I actually make this build to the end. It's gonna be so fun. Um, Tibia Mariner. This guy is called... Bell Bearing Hunter. 69 plus 4. I would live in Altus, it's so pretty. Uh, that is a bit too under the enemies for me to live in Altus, to be honest with you. Death Right Bird, right? Wait, is this the Death Death Bird here or is it the Death Right Bird, guys? What's even located in this place? And also, where is it exactly? No, no, it will not do 3k damage. It will do like 12k. <laughs> it will do around 12k damage at the end. Trust me, I tested it. There is a TikTok short on my TikTok channel where you can see how much damage I actually do to Radagon. I do around 1200, 12,000 damage in like one combo. Like it's actually completely insane. Like I, I'm not sure you should be allowed to do that. Yeah, as long as you don't, as long as we follow market orders. Altus should be okay. Which boss will I leave for the end? Uh, Malenia, probably. Like, we're gonna enter the Halakshi last. Malenia's gonna be tough. Uh, when it comes to Malenia, the build doesn't really that matter. Like, you need to be good fighting her. Where is the death bird? Over here? Uh, Elden Beast, you're just gonna die. Like, I don't need a plan for you, trust me. Uh, the, the, best, the, the best way to deal with the final boss in this game is damage output. If you do a lot of damage, the final boss doesn't need, even need a strategy. It's not like I want to melt every boss intentionally, I just somehow make a build always around it. Yeah, dagger only, Malenia is gonna be harder. It's gonna be harder to parry her as well. Is he over here? Ah. Okay, it's not the death right bird, which is good. The death right birds are much more vicious. Let's try... Oh, what in the fu- Wait, what hit me? Ah, the, the other idiot hit me. Okay, what the fuck? The snails are coming. The hell is going on? Oh my god, I can't see shit. These guys are harder than some of the bosses in the game. Okay, we need to take care of the snails, guys. The snails are a problem. Do they revive? Please tell me the snails don't- Oh, they're tracking in this sacred blade is so bad. The damage output is- <laughs> <laughs> okay, the damage output is insane, but the tracking is so bad. 
it makes up for it. 2,500 damage. Yeah, the death birds are not gonna be a problem for us, boys. The death birds are not gonna be a problem for us. The snails are more of a problem, honestly. How did that miss? How did that miss? Doesn't matter. Holy damage, boys and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. 69 plus 5. I just saw the short. Oh, uh, yeah, the Kirin combo does look incredible. What the hell is going on? What the fucking flying skeletons from Arkham City? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Die. Die. Bro, the, the last meme in the Discord with the, the strongest priest break 17 uh, strength world records like that mean just cracked me up so much bro leveled 99 strength and 99 faith in real life absolutely beautiful meme that's what all memes should be man uh broken build um there's way too many broken builds guys let me actually wait for my internet to stabilize death bird capital outskirts nice can I get one moment of peace? Please. I just want to check the boxes for the bosses. Let me live in please. Thank you. Most broken build. I can't really think of a broken build right now. Uh, the most broken build that I know of is this one. But this one requires way too, way too much setup. I think the most broken build you can possibly create, like melee build, uh, would be Starfist. Just maximize the damage output of the Starfists and you should be making like a... Nobody should be able to stop you. He wants a piece in the graveyard, yeah. Oh, uh, let's go health. Let's go health. Like the stream as well. <laughs> Need to stop saying it. I'm starting to sound like a generic YouTuber. Like everything. Like this, like that. Subscribe here, subscribe here, and subscribe there. Question to you guys. When people, when people ask in their videos to like and subscribe, does that bother you or doesn't it? Me personally, it doesn't bother me, but I find it funny. I'm actually curious about your opinion about that one. I don't do it often because I find it kind of ruins the pace of the video a little bit. I do it from time to time, though. Uh, next boss. Knight's uh... Cavalry. Let's go Knight's Cavalry. It doesn't. It's more like meh. Yeah, that makes sense. It's annoying. Insufferable. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. To people who think it's insufferable, I understand you completely. But it definitely works. Like I, I see that I see that I see the numbers actually become different when I do something like that. But I don't want to do it often because then it's just like a little bit okay. Stop it. Like every video would be just insane. Like I treat those please like subscribe bullshit things like sponsorships. I don't want to include too many sponsorships. You, don't, you guys don't want to watch them, I don't want to make them, but they are important in some situations, so I treat them like that. I think that's a good way to go about it. Uh, Knight's Cavalry. Depends on how they say it. To me, it's always the same. Oh, this guy is a flail! Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I forgot the Knight's Cavalries are absolute dog shit with this build. So we're just gonna be slapping them. Repeatedly. With Sacred Blade and uh, Black Knife. Easiest way to deal with them is to kill the horse, but that's also the hardest way. These guys are just not fun to fight with this build, honestly. That's gonna be completely honestly on my part. But thankfully, Sacred Blade is broken. <laughs> I swear to god, I cannot dodge these guys ever in my life. I fought like four Knights Cavalries up until this point, and I can't dodge any one of them. Just running around like an idiot. This is the Falling Star Beast all over again, my god. It just goes away. They're not fun to fight. Just running around, yeah. I don't know why. They're cool as fuck, but... Literally the Nazgul. Literally the goddamn Nazgul from Lord of, Lord of the Rings. But they're so unfun to fight. Ask Gino, yeah. <laughs> Whenever I have a problem, I'm gonna ask Professor Gino on how to solve it. 
and goodbye. Rest in peace. They are cool all around. They are literally the Nazgul, guys. They are literally the Nazgul. They are controlled by Morgoth. If you read the Lord of the Rings and the Silmarillion, you'll know the you'll know the similarities. I, I'm berserk inspired arm, maybe. I feel like they look more like the Nazgul, honestly. Shared order. Uh, who did I kill? Who did I kill? Knights Cavalry, Altus Plateau. We are almost done with Altus Plateau. Very nice. Are they omens? I don't think so. I actually have no idea what they are, to be completely honest with you. Do I have enough upgrade materials to level up a dagger here? Let's see. We have enough upgrade materials to level up the dagger a bit. Uh, then we're gonna go into this cave over here. Favorite strength weapon. Ooh. Uh, the Beast Jaw Hammer. The Beast Jaw Great Hammer is my favorite strength weapon. It's actually so fun to use in PvP because it has a very interesting true combo and cool weapon art. Oh, the Knight's Cavalry Duo. You you had to remind me of that, Rim Kims. You, you, you couldn't let me live in my delusion. You had to remind me of the double Knight's Cavalry fight. At that point, I'm gonna be so strong it's not gonna be a problem. Giant Crusher. Uh, bell bearing. Do we need to buy anything here? Let's see. Not really at the board. Let's, go, let's buy the stone sword key. Let's offer these things up. We can buy this to upgrade the blade of calling. It's not a bad idea. Uh, bell bearing. Bell bearing. Nothing really important here. Let's just go upgrade the daggers. What is my favorite red weapon? I have no idea what a red weapon is. So I can't answer that to you. The tower of the Frenzy died the Sauron? Yeah, that's actually, I think, the inspiration for it. Literally the Eye of God and Sauron. Uh, level? Level? And then level? Oops. Level? Nice. Plus 14, beautiful. I don't know why you guys... I have no idea what my least favorite weapon is. What is your least favorite weapon, guys? Like, how do you even start answering that question? Do you know how many weapons are there in the game? Uh, what's special about the Earthsteel Dagger is for this build is that they inherently scale of faith. And then when you infuse them with faith, uh, they get really, really powerful. And when you have, like, a split damage type, like fire or sacred, you can buff it with um, the 20% boost from the tiers that you can get. So you're basically stacking damage on top of damage with buffs. That's why. Worst weapon type is definitely, I don't know, maybe the whips. Let's go to this bad boy, Saint Hero's Grave. That is the grave with a lot of chariots, I think. Vare's Bouquet. Yeah, Vare's Bouquet really doesn't know damage, man. Hampus, what's up? Most fun weapon for me. Currently, Earth Steel Daggers. I don't have a weapon that's, like, special to me. Like, weapon class is a different thing. Uh, the thing is, I get bored with one weapon. Like, no matter how fun a weapon is, uh, after, like, I don't know, 10 boss fights or 10 invasions or 10 PvP duels, you get I get bored with the weapon. So I just need to switch. So I like the build that I'm currently creating where I have, like, multiple weapons. <laughs> My... My GF also loves whips, Remy, don't worry. <laughs> DS3 was easy to you. You guy are a, you my man are a giga chat. DS3 for me was not easy. All 65. Yeah. 165. Did I count the bosses right, guys? Guys, do you do you realize that we're gonna get to double 69 very fast actually? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I have an idea for when you get to double 69. Alcenzo, don't think about it, just deal with it. Imperial, what's up? Glad you're back. Glad you guys enjoying the stream. Uh, this place. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Remember this place? Uh, this is a ground that falls down. Uh, type exclamation mark run. 
Exclamation mark run is always gonna explain what we're doing today. Yeah, that is going to be the count onwards now. Exactly. You you read my mind. That's going to be the count onwards. We're not gonna have enough space, but we're gonna do it. Oh my god. Okay. So I upgraded the PC today. Uh, I added another 16 gigabytes of RAM to it because the main problem why the why my game was actually lagging when I actually played on PC. So hopefully next stream when we actually do the Elder Ring on PC something about it, uh, it's gonna be a lot better. No better quality and better frame rate. Endurance only run. Why did you guys why do you guys want me to copy copy Gino's videos? I don't want to copy Gino's videos. I would like to create something different, at least a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Bra mister, that's actually that's exactly what I want. I have no idea how to finish this cave. But I will find out. Yeah, I remember this cave very, very well now. Now I remember this cave very, very well. Oh my god, the revenants and the invincible grave wardens. Miyazaki and his concept of fun. And another one. And another one, Miyazaki. These revenants are actually insane. Bro, these revenants need to stop my... God. Okay, now I'm poisoned. What the fuck? Why does he spit poison like 15,000 kilometers... ...in front of him? How do you finish this cave, guys? They are two, yeah. I'm surprised they are not four. Guys, let me go refill my protein shake. I'll be right back. I'm kind of in the mood today to do like a double workout. Like I already did a workout today, a plyometric workout, but I kind of want to do another workout after this. I don't know why, just too much energy in me. About that, really wanted to see your physique. <laughs> this is not a physique channel, Rimsis. <laughs> Indeed. You're about to whoop Gideon. Gideon is actually going to die very fast. Best Skyrim OST? I actually have no idea what the OST currently is in the background, but Skyrim OST is such a good OST, man. If you can't do something, just ask Gino Machino. Nah, I can figure it out. I can always figure it out. Yeah, I'm gonna do another workout after this one. One workout is not enough anymore. It's summer, fuck it, why not? Any tips for bigger calves? Uh, running, actually. At least for me, like doing uh, sprint workouts and running workouts, that increased my like calf size by a, like they, they, be, they become like they become like two giant rocks. Also, uh, rope jumping. Literally, I had rocks for calves after all of that. Like I did rope jumping, like uh, jumping rope, like almost every day. And Muay Thai, Muay Thai as well, because Muay Thai just makes. Your leg entirely just made out of goddamn iron. And then I had goddamn like three stumps for calves. I remember that very, very vividly. Uh, the, uh, what's, what's actually interesting, guys, is my, my, strength, my, my strength in my legs was the highest when I was actually working a summer job and I was biking every single day to, uh, to that job. And because Croatia or Dalmatia, what the fuck? I'm trying to tell a story. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm trying to tell a goddamn story to chat, guys. Like, No respect here. No respect in this dungeon, I swear to God. 
Absolute disrespect. Oh, okay, we're, we're, we're killing everybody, guys. We are absolutely killing everybody. They, they are not, they're not respecting me at all. What was I going to say? Yeah, my legs were the strongest when I was having a summer job. And I was biking every single day to the summer job. And because Dalmatia is very, very hilly, like there is a hill, then there is a, then there's a big slope and so on. Like I was biking like uh, on 20 degree slopes for like the entirety of the path. Like it was insane. But my legs were so powerful at the end of that summer, like it was insane. Ab absolutely insane. So it seems to me that the most simple workouts always prove to be the most effective one in the end. Especially daily workouts. Okay. Now everybody dies. Now everybody dies. Every single motherfucker in this goddamn dungeon is gonna die now. But yeah, I also agree that cops are mainly genetics. That is true. You need to have big calves in order to get bigger ones, honestly. What the fuck is the purpose of this place? Hell is the purpose of this? I'm utterly confused, guys. Oh, embrace the caveman, yeah. Everybody dies, goodbye. You over there, come over here. One of the worst dungeons? Probably. I don't like the dungeons where I can't hit the enemies. That is a little bit annoying. It's a cool gimmick in theory. But it doesn't... It's not really fun in practice. Yup, we are embracing the light. Step into the light, motherfuckers. Step into the light. You over there. Get your ass over here. <laughs> I bench 130kg but have zero calves, yeah. That's probably the reason why you bench 130kg, honestly, honest to god. Like, if you had... The, I, I find it very rarely that people have, like, very, very strong legs and very, very, like, good benches and things like that. It's usually one or the other. Bro, I know people who've never done a sport in their life and they're, like, lean and have abs out of the goddamn... Their abs are coming out of the goddamn eyebrows, like it's insane. Like some people just have genetics, like it's not even fair. Like, are you even human? There was like one guy in my high school who was like, "Bro, you are not human. Like you don't work out, you don't do anything. You look like a goddamn Greek Greek figure. Like it doesn't make any sense." Shit, unfair. Yeah, life is unfair. That it's probably the biggest lesson you can learn. What's my plan for Crucible Duo? Stab them in the butt. <laughs> That's my plan for Crucible Duo. <laughs> Crucible Duo is not gonna be too, pro too problematic. They are highly predictable. I mean, guys, I, I beat Malenia with a goddamn shield. Like, I'm not really gonna have problems with too many bosses in the game from now on. The only thing I now need to do is beat Malenia, like, without parrying, and then I pretty much done everything that I need to do for prep. <clears throat> uh, this is the saint at Hero's Grave. Although it should be called the Fuck You Hero's Grave. Because that's how I feel going through this place. <laughs> Life is unfair, but never in my favor. <laughs> it does feel like that, yeah. True. Definitely true. I, at this point, just find it, kind of, find it quite funny. Bro, why is there a message in mid air? <laughs> Where am I even going, guys? Why am I just running in goddamn circles? Where am I going? I have no idea either. Like, I have zero clue. Uh... Go to the warrior? You mean the duelist? Zoro gets lost. I am doing the perfect playthrough, guys. Don't you remember? Like, we are playing Zoro at the end of the day. Honestly, I'm probably gonna call the character Zoro. 
Actually, that's what the character is called in the Poker Randomizer run. Scratch that. You die as well, because you have been haunting me for the past, like, couple of runs. Where do we go? Not gonna lie, guys, I have no idea where to go and how to open this cave. Do I like chicken? Not particularly. Mm. Unfortunately, no, buff me, please. Also, I love the name, buff me, please, with that question, that's perfect. I never had a strong match in my life. The highest I ever benched in my life was 120 kg. I had a pretty strong deadlift, like 200 kg. 200,000, excuse me, 200,000 kg. But the bench was never really a strong part. I think the squat was 140, 150 kg. Fuck you, Revenant. Market Shackle? I don't think, think I have the Market Shackle. You need to get a Duelist in the light? Okay. Wait, the Duelist is a key? Huh? Does he read the comments? Uh, yes. I think that proves it. Alright, so let's embrace the light, you motherfucker. Come here. Wait, I need the item that I got here. Let's go, dude. Let's go get it. Come here. Let's get to it. Where is the light? There is the light. It's also easy to get that weight. I can't do it anymore. Like, that, that was my... That was the time when I was doing weightlifting the most. Oh. Uh, get over here, idiot. Come on, come on, come on. Step into the light. Perfect. Perfect. Bro, if only daggers did poise damage, that would be so fun. Like, I would poise break everybody in minutes. Okay. Okay, Miyazaki. I see what you get there. So that is the way to do it. <clears throat> yeah, strength comes from consistency in Kims. That's true. That's what I've seen from people. Like, the, mo the people who are most consistent get the best strength results, because it takes time, it seems. I'm from Croatia, my dude. Uh, what is the boss fight even here? Forgot. Completely forgot. Let's see. Dagger daggers with poise break. I have an idea how to make daggers poise break, Avatar. Basically, I have an idea to use crack blade on both of these daggers. And that is that should add the that should give them enough poise break to be like absolute menaces. I think that would actually work really well. But it's more for PV purposes gonna be useful. Buffing in PvP is not gonna be that easy to do. Okay, now we heal. We pull out the black knife from our ass, and we shoot a destined death from our hits. Let's go. Destined Death is perfect finisher. This is how I like to use the Destined Death. Ah, that's why I have this. Misery Court. By the way, guys, can I mention to you that we don't have a single buff on us currently? The only buffs that we have are coming from Talismans. We are missing Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Vow, uh, the, the Flask buffs. We are missing so many buffs. Just try to imagine what's the damage going to be once we actually get all of these buffs in, in order. I completed my old boss's run. Nice. What weapon did you use for the old boss's run? Hall of Shabrir is not gonna be important. Flame Grant Me Strength is better. <laughs> Don't need buff when you have buff. Yeah. Am I allowed to use what? Buffs? Yes. I never disallow buffs in the game. If I disallow buffs, I turn the run from a... Uh, basically, if you disallow buffs in this game, you destroy all the possibilities of build creation. You ju you're just left with a pure challenge run. And I like I like the aspect of build creation in these games. So that's why I never disallow buffs. Uh, we killed the Zamor bastard. What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Ancient hero Zamor. 
Shall we go for Lanciax? Let's go for Lanciax. Why the hell not? Do we have the... Is there Grace here, actually? Let's go Rampart Side Path and let's go for Lanciax. 69 plus 7, thank you. It's more important to mark the boss later, I can fix the count if I miss anything. Epic boss time, yeah. As well as for armors? Yeah, kinda, yeah. Bro, like, now that you mentioned it, Hatsenzo, like, me figuring out that Bloody Slash is actually completely busted is, like, the one of the best things I've found out in, the, in this run currently. She just chicken out. She's not gonna chicken out here. That is big damage. If he can hit anything here, what the hell? The hell Lanciax are you fucking doing, man? 580 damage on a leg shot with Sacred Blade. That seems to be quite promising. Lanciax is, a ha Lanciax is somehow harder for me than Vortisax. I need to stop spamming. I'm, I'm way too over spamming my attacks, guys. I need to go get a couple of hits in and retreat. Otherwise, the dragons are gonna be destroying me. Thing is, the more attacks I land, the more damage I do. Like, the antithesis of this build. Ooh. Why did I roll? I didn't press the roll button. What the hell do I mean? Uh, fire attack? Fire attack! Jump! <laughs> Whoa, bro, I jumped that. Okay, that was insane. That was actually anime type moment here right now. I actually jumped the fuck. And then I get absolutely beaten to death and absolutely destroyed, okay. But I'm creating my own anime at this point. A damn Thorfinn build. This is a fucking dragon. Switch to Black Knight. It's gonna be a fire attack yet again. Why can't the dragons in Skyrim be like this, guys? Honestly. Imagine Skyrim dragons being like this. That would be interesting to do. Slice the tail. Also, the one thing I really miss from the DS1, tail cuts. I understand why they removed the tail cuts, but uh, I kind of miss them. You were a fun mechanic. You always, when you fought a dragon, would try to chop off his tail. It's a really, really fun mechanic, in my opinion. Adds a lot to the fight. She moves his, she moves her leg way too much. Zoro X Torfin? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Couple more hits. And GG. What? Black knife. Let the death be upon you. Good fight. Toto the Dragon Ball Buster. <laughs> I am the dragon I'm the dragon castrator, Hatsenzo. I'm using knives, not not hammers. I'm the dragon castrator. Lanciax down. Uh Lanciax. Bro, these enemies need to really take it up a notch. I'm killing them way too fast, guys. I'm just going from one enemy to another. Uh Ancient Dragon Lanciax. Okay. 69 plus 8. The dragon is castrator, yeah. The ball slicer. The ball sex slicer. Next boss. What is the next boss? Where are even the bosses located at this point? Uh, let's go Sage's Cave. I have no idea where Sage's Cave is. A banned coffin, I think? Sage's Cave holds two boss fights, right, guys? Sage's Cave holds Necromancer Garrus and the Black Knight, right? I'm from Croatia, Tuna. Croatia. <laughs> Dragon Slayer Toto, yeah, I'll accept that name. I'll accept that name any day of the week. I prefer to be called the Dragon Castrator, though. <clears throat> Let's grab a couple of health points. 
We can actually level. How? What? What level are we actually? Seventy-six. Seventy-six is not a bad level. It's a bad game, but it's not a bad level. How do I say good morning in Croatia? Jelem ti mater. You say, uh, don't say jebem ti mater, you say uh, dobar, dobro jutro. Hoćeš kave? I think Tuna, that's what everybody, every Croatian is doing when they, when they, when people ask them to teach you some Croatian. <laughs> they always teach you how to curse first, and then they teach you how to talk second. Dobra jutra, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> that is I'm, uh, honestly, Irby. I'm greeting my friends more often with uh, uh, with that what you just said than with any other type of like conversation starter. <laughs> Croatians, when they're good friends, they just curse each other out first and then they start talking to each other. At least that's how it, at least that's how it works for me. Like I'm always. Um, the first thing I say always when I see a friend that I haven't seen in a while, what's up you idiot or what's up you monkey or something like that. Like in Croatian, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Hansenzo. <laughs> Fucking cows. Oh my god. Uh, there was a TikTok, I forgot what language they were referring to, but there was a TikTok like saying that like German is the most aggressive language I think and then I'm just like you guys have not heard Croatian <laughs> German is definitely not the most aggressive language let me slice and dice more two shanks do I understand Croatian yes I do how do I say I love you? <laughs> French is the best language. Opinion on Bosnia? I like Bosnia. I've been to Sarajevo a couple of times. I liked. Like the people. Not fun. Though Bosnians driving was my oh my god, now I remember that. Jesus Christ. Okay. So this is the story, guys. Let me actually just clear out these fucking motherfuckers and then we're gonna. There was unnecessary cursing at these at these poor fellows. Now I just remember that story about Bosnian drivers. Perfect. Bro, these guys are out of hell. What the hell? Why are you alive? So basically, uh, me and my friends uh, have been going on a ski trip in Bosnia, uh, near Sarajevo, and uh, we oh, we basically booked a like a combi, a taxi, a bigger ta taxi that will carry like 16 people because that's how many of us were going. Uh, but uh, it seems Bosnian drivers are absolute maniacs <laughs> because the guy that was driving us uh, was driving on a street that's allowed like 80 kilometers an hour driving speed, was driving 150 uh, and four other dudes were accompanying him and they were basically like, I was, I was like half sleeping, half waking up and I just see like when I woke up like, the guy who was driving us and four other, like, cars in front of us just sliding into the other lane at 150 kilometers per hour and just passing, like, a lane of cars. And I'm just like, how are we, how, how did we even get alive back home? That is insane. Like, don't drive a car in Bosnia. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna tell you. Bro, way too many people are falling for that one. Way too many people are falling for the uh, exclamation mark secret. That's probably the slowest Bosnian driver, yeah, that's actually kind of true. 150 kilometers per hour is not fast enough. <laughs> it's normal, but yeah, kind of. It's not too out of the ordinary, which is insane. Uh, what is this cave? Bro, no, bro, bro was fast and furious, trust me. This is Necromancer Garrus. Bro, I love how he just named the Necromancer Garrus for no reason other than it sounds funny, I think. 
There's like no reason other than that to call him Necromancer Garrus. This guy's probably also very hard to no hit because he has the goddamn snail. Necromancer Garrus, welcome to London. Bye bye. Your snail, goodbye. Uh, 69 plus... 9. <laughs> Necromancer Garrus. Guys, is there or is there not another boss fight in this cave? I don't remember where the Black Knife is located. Yeah, out of the names you could have only chose Garrus, but I like it. There is, yeah. Okay. Off into the cave, further we go then. Yeah, there is the Black Knife boss fight in this cave, but I don't know where, he, where she is. I don't know where she is. Probably down there, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, they're actually right next to one another. What the fuck? They're actually right next to one another. Uh, Sentry Torch. Hello? What the fuck? I wanted to say hi. What the hell? Okay, what's the damage output? Uh, why can't I dodge? Uh, excuse me. What's going on? Why am I fat rolling? Wait, how heavy is the sentry torch? Wait a minute. Why am I fat rolling? What is going on? Okay, the sentry torch seems to be pretty heavy, guys. You can just put a torch on your back. That's kind of that's kind of lame. Putting a torch on your back and it still works. Okay, this is just a knife fight. Okay, this is literally the prison shank fight, guys. This is an average day in some prison somewhere. Shank fight in the middle of the cafeteria. <laughs> Colossal torch would be sick. That would be interesting. London fight, yeah. I need to figure out why you guys say... Are people really going around London with goddamn knives in their pockets? I really want to know that, guys. I, I don't get that joke, unfortunately. Fight. Okay. Concealing Veil, very nice. Concealing Veil is actually really, really fun in PvP. She's a girl, yeah. Always uh, always forget she's a girl because she's beating my ass. <clears throat> yeah, they do. Okay, I'm not going to Britain then. The older you get, the more knife and shank you carries. God save Britain, man. And the bam 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 plus 10. Black Knife Assassin. Only four more in Altus and I think five more in the capital. Yeah. Uh, the Concealing Veil basically makes you invisible at a certain distance from your enemy. Uh, which is actually really, really useful. Bam. Not walking. Dead. What is the next boss fight? Go to Scotland? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll remember that. Uh, let's go Tibia Mariner. It's an easy boss fight. <laughs> the <guy>, Dragon Castrator. Eyes <laughs> ah, a meme. The American people have guns and English people have knives. Ah, I didn't actually ever see that meme. I've seen billions of memes about Americans having guns because that's not really a meme, that's reality. And... Uh, but never seen the meme about knives, honestly. <coughs> uh, Raptor, probably a good idea. We are using a lot of jumping attacks for now, so it's probably a good idea to wear this. There's also the Windham ruins over here. You, my bad boy, need to die ASAP. And he's gone. I'm actually having so much fun fighting these undead enemies because of the holy build that I'm currently rocking. Like, they're just abolishing these people from the lands between, like, D would be proud. It's another slap and a little bit of shanking and he's dead. 
Daggers are OP, guys. Scott, what's up? Daggers are actually OP, guys. I'm just blasting through the game. This is gonna be the build that I'm taking into the DLC. Total voice is really memorizing. Thank you. It's definitely unique. Like, you're not gonna find a voice like this often, especially when talking English. Okay, 69 plus 11. It's basically a DPS build, yeah. It's a shank fest. Is this counted in. Does this count Aldous Plateau? I mean, mind only build doesn't make any sense. You, can't, you don't make builds around non damaging stats. Like, th that does make sense. I sound different in my videos. I do some uh, voice treatment before I actually post the video, that's why I sound different. It's not different, mind, no, no, no. It's just voice treatment. Sometimes when you record, like, for stream and things like that. Uh, your voice becomes like way too high in some places of the video, way too low in some other places. So you basically pop a like voice filter over top of it that basically balances all of those things out and uh, just makes the voice a little bit more popping. Just better all around. Like, But that is the reason why I sound different, yeah. Are pirate builds possible? I have no idea what that means. Okay, let me see what we need to do. Sage's Cave. Earth Tree Burial Watchdog. Okay, so for some reason... <coughs> Windham Catacombs are here considered as... Uh, it's probably a mistake. Let me just check this, guys. So... I mean, that kind of... This place kind of is Mount Gelmir, right? We're kind of approaching Mount Gelmir over here, right? So I'm gonna consider this, like, from this point over Windham Catacombs, like, after this bridge. This is after this bridge, so it's gonna be considered Mount Gelmir. And I'm just following the list from, uh, from the side, because it's honestly easier. So we're not gonna be doing that. We're not going to go into the Windham, Windham Catacombs just now. Just to keep it consistent and easier for me to follow. We're gonna be doing this for Mount Gelmir, which we're going to be doing after Caelid, I think. So let's take take care of the Miranda flower over here. Zero Toxic, what's up? Is it a dual fight? What? Yeah, we're going for the Sims of Malenia. Yeah, Kindred of Rot, yeah. Uh, what do I need to do to get moderator? Uh, would you like to be a moderator? I have no problem with that. The more moderators that I have, the better the chat is gonna be behaved. I feel like I'm a father to you guys. Like, chat. Tati do, 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 uh, Daddy Toto. Guys, I can't moderate every one of you. <coughs> that would be just stupid. I mean... According to the wiki, okay. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, Ricardo, in, 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 the, in the sense. It doesn't really matter. It's not really that important. Like I'm following a list that basically lays out all the bosses for, for basically each area for me. So I just do it for that. Like, it's not really important if I kill like every single... I'm gonna come back to kill the bosses eventually later on. Uh, type exclamation mark run. Uh, Lustos. Lus... Lustlos? And you'll see what the challenge is. Don't be an asshole, yeah. Literally. It's not... I mean, it's not just that, but... That's the essence of it. Mod everybody. <laughs> I feel like if I mod everybody, then just all the moderators are gonna be turning on every one, every other one of the moderators, and everybody's gonna be timed out or banned. That's probably what will happen. <laughs> Make the music a bit louder. The music is a little bit too. Quiet. We go. Uh, 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 honestly, the most important item in any playthrough is this lantern. I'm not looking for editors. I don't have the money to pay editors, so... <coughs> editors are quite expensive. 
especially for the kind of videos that uh, the Elden Ring Dark Souls Souls players challenge runners do. Editors are very, very expensive. And also, I really like editing. It just takes time. Currently, my, my, my current plan is uh, posting a video every two weeks. That is my plan. I could try to do it every week, but I think I would probably die. So every two weeks is a nice balance. That is a joy to self-editing, yeah. That is. Also, you, you, you develop a skill at the end of the day. I'm, I'm, and I'm always for skill developing. Because if the channel dies, I now have the skill of editing. Which means I can go edit other people's videos and make money off of that. So it was definitely worth learning to edit. That's how I look at it. Oh yeah, this boss fight. Oh fuck. Oh, no need to worry. Absolutely no need to worry. Oh. Okay, you have your knives and I have mine. I'm gonna die. No, no, no. I'm just throwing away my rune arcs like they are worth nothing. Am I full time? Yes, currently. I might not be full time in the soon future though. Editor is. <laughs> my god. Uh, doing collabs is not as easy as you think, Rim, Rim Kim's. Like, it's not. Like, you need ideas for collabs. And ideas for collabs can go very, very wrong, trust me. <laughs> my poor rune arcs are just leaving me. Oh, let's pop this again. Yeah, agree, Traveler. Agree. If you don't like what you're doing, then it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the thing is, like, people don't... Some people, like, don't like what they're doing and they're still having a lot of success. Uh, because people like to watch specific things. But then, that that's not really the point for me. I, ne I never started this because I not, wanted to make a business out of it. I started this because I wanted to have fun. Collabing with Gina would be interesting, but I have no idea what we actually would be doing. They are in quite similar time zones, though. Like, we stream almost at the same time. So that's definitely doable, but again, what what would we do? Like, what what would what idea could you do? Like, that's the problem, man. That's the main problem. I live with my girlfriend slash wife. I call her my wife, but I'm not married to her. And uh, Didi, woman killed down. Now we just have to cut down a goddamn plant, like always. I mean, not like always, it's not like we are cutting down plants all the time in the lands between. This is the most stupid boss fight, why is he just staying still? I love how when I, love how when I kill the plant, it gives me the weapon of the guy that I just killed previously. Uh, okay, another boss down. I saw the Elden Ring being much, yes. I tried no death run some days ago and died to fucking Gideon. <laughs> yeah, actually Gideon has the best way to kill you. Uh, Gideon has actually the like very, very good potential to kill somebody when you're not prepared for him. Uh, Omen Killer and Miranda Blighted Bloom, bye bye. Perfumer Trisha and Misbegotten Warrior, where the fuck is this boss fight? This is in unsightly catacombs. Where the f Ah, those catacombs. Jesus Christ. Bro, I've never been in this catacomb ever in my life. Unsightly catacombs. I don't remember ever being in that place. Yeah, we need we need tail cuts for dragons in general in this game. That would be fun. Can I play with you? Uh, I mean, you can't play a challenge run with me, so... <laughs> no. Uh, guys, what I'm going to be doing is... Um, I want to start doing that a little bit to... Just kind of like... Basically, what I want to be doing... I'm, when I play things like Battle Bit or Chivalry 2 or things like that, I'm, I'm going to start streaming it in the Discord channel. Uh, 
just for fun, <laughs> literally. So we're gonna have a little bit more entertainment and live streams probably on my off days as well. Wait, did I actually... Let me just do a quick count here, guys. Did I kill everybody right? 58 plus 17? How many did we kill? 58 plus 17. Plus 6. We killed 81 bosses. Uh, that is the good count. Yeah, okay. Why is the game... Okay. Do I play Clash of Clans? I used to play Clash of Clans, but not anymore. Unsightly Catacombs. Oh, yeah. Do a 1v1 versus a subscriber every month? I'm gonna be doing a PvP live stream probably very soon, so we're gonna be having fun today, guys. That day, guys. We're gonna be having some PvP today. I'm Hampus Magnus. Why is it... Guys, changing names just confuses me. <laughs> I will never remember you guys if you change, change names all the time, but... Glad you joined the Discord, man. PvP level? Uh, I think what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing like... Uh, Starting character PvP. We're gonna be. I'm just, I'm just gonna be picking the starting class that I want, and then from that on point, we're gonna be doing PvP. I'm gonna have like one hour to prepare for PvP. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna give you that one hour to you with guys as well, and then we're gonna be just invading and being invaded and things like that. Yeah, if you change your names over to Discord, like then I just get confused who is what and. It would be the easier it would be much easier for me if you guys had the same username on Discord and YouTube as well. Ah, okay. Open the gates. Trust me, man, I'm also quite bad at PvP, because I haven't played it in, in a while. PvP is very, very weird in these games. I don't know if you guys watch any PvP streamers for these games, but they're basically all hating the game currently because of the PvP. Like, uh, I watch Stilovsky and the G9 from time to time. And they're basically all trying to, like, find another game to play because they can't. Uh, Jessica, what's up? I won against Chase, so I'm good. Unfortunately, Chase doesn't stream that much anymore. I do like his streams a lot. They're definitely quite fun to watch. But yeah, basically, Stilovsky and G9 and those other PvP YouTubers, all the old that I watch, basically. Just trying to get away from this game when it comes to the PvP. The PvP is so... It's hard to fix the... Pro it's hard to fix the problems in this game when it comes to PvP. It is, but it... Okay, there's a goddamn army approaching. One by one, we will all get cucked. Let's go. Alright. Like, I played PvP the other day. I played some 1v1s in the arena. Uh, tips for Estelle. Hit his head and use bleed. Played some PvP 1v1s in the arena. And basically, everybody's using the same goddamn build. It's kind of, like, annoying to fight against all the time. Everybody's using double lances, double spears... Great Serpent Hunter... I don't know. Uh, Rem Remy, I also remember you when I had 10 viewers, trust me. It wasn't that long ago when I actually had 10 viewers, so I'm actually quite grateful to all of you. Glad you enjoyed my content. I'm still currently in the experimentation phase of my content creator journey, let's call it like that. Uh, there's still something missing. It's not in, it's not completely unique. I've been thinking about it for like months now. Something is still missing. There, something needs to be added for my content to really pop off. I have. It's really hard to put your finger on it when you just like that. Like that's something that needs to come from experimentation. Can you be telling with only the do yeah? <laughs> Can we jump down there? This cave, these caves just confuse me, man. I swear to God. I did a spirit summon only run, Jessica. Uh, it's my... It's my pacifist run, but the summons are randomized. It's a very, very fun run to do. 
Aha! Scammed. Gates open, thank you. Frozen lightning? It's not It's not what I mean, guys. It's not about the challenge. Uh, it, it, you, you're missing my point. The challenge in and of itself is not really that important. It's more like the execution of it. Like, Mickey Gordon has actually talked about it quite a lot in good ways. When is the next randomizer stream? Uh, next week. I want to do a little bit of progress for this run this week. And also this run has been super, super fun for me. Uh, Georgia Music does have copyright, but it's not uh, automatic copyright. Uh, basically, every song in the game, in the world that releases, guys, has copyright on it. It's just a matter of fact, you, are you gonna get punished for that copyright? You usually don't get punish, punished for game music, but that can change like in a blink of an eye. Like, uh, Nintendo, for example, Nintendo can choose tomorrow to completely uh, delete my channel, if they wanted to. They, they have that right. They have that right. I could literally disappear, my channel could literally disappear from the face of the earth tomorrow. If a company, if a game company doesn't like that I'm using their music. So just be aware of that. If I disappear, you know why. <laughs> Wait, that perfumer actually buffed this guy? Insane. Oh, bro, you have no health. Bro, these guys have no health. Literally zero. Level your vigor. Do I like beer? I'm more of a whiskey type of guy. I'm not really a beer enjoyer too much. Okay, Perfumer Trisha, 69 plus 13. Weird Controller. Mm, that's probably something I'll do for Sekiro, though. Bethesda, please, we just like the music. Bethesda hasn't done... Actually, does Bethesda actually copyright strike people for using the music? It could happen. I did get a copyright claim in the last stream, actually. <coughs> but it was not from Bethesda. My favorite whiskey brand? Uh, Jack Daniels. I really like Jack for some reason. One death, 20 push-ups. That is too easy for me. <laughs> Literally. That is way too easy. Uh, I'll check the gold video later then, don't worry. I'll check, every, I'll check everything pretty much in Discord. Stone Digger Troll. Where the hell are you, man? Old Altus Tunnel. Ah, okay. <coughs> so it's over here? Okay. One death, five muscle ups. Now that's a challenge. I'm, I don't have a bar here, though. <laughs> the video that I really liked uh, was the Duck Duck copy, like enemy spawner. Like every time I say a specific word, something spawns. That is my favorite video that I ever posted in my life. <clears throat> that was so fun to figure out how to do and create. <laughs> Ghost pepper bite, nah. Yeah, it was super fun, Louis Vader, yeah. Super, super fun. I don't really have any socials yet, yeah. The only social I currently have is Twitter and TikTok. I, I have an Instagram, but it's my personal Instagram and I don't use it all. At all, currently. I do plan to create something in the future, but don't have the time right now. Scott is risky, yeah. Did anybody try, actually, the McGregor Proper 12 Whiskey brand? Is it any good, guys? Honest to God. Honest question. Toto Tourist. <laughs> I probably would have had more success on YouTube if I created a Dalmatia Tourist channel than this one. It's trash? What's trash? Uh, the McGregor brand. Who would have thought? <laughs> McGregor has been starting to sound like more of like a... Like a punch drunk boxer than anybody else. It tastes like it's made with water. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, guys. Chivas Regal is good too. I'm not really... I'm not really a big... Uh, smoker or drinker. I do like to smoke cigars from time to time. That is my like my 
main guilty pleasure, let's call it like that. But most of it, that, that happens like once a month, maybe. Like, buy, I buy a pack of, like, cigars and then I'm done, done, for, done with them for, like, the next six months. Ah, this place, okay. Now I remember. Don't remember the name when I walk. <laughs> A Romanian natural wine. That sounds interesting. I missed this today. Don't worry, Asad. This will be kept live after the after the stream concludes. These streams are these streams or this challenge run will be kept live on the channel because it's a very nice challenge run that I don't want to upload to the second channel to the second channel. Also, the two other channels are now called Toto Tiny Triceps and Toto Big Triceps, because it sounds funny. No, cigars are not secret, no. I don't really have big triceps anymore, like I'm, I'm just a normal dude. I have big traps, that's my biggest muscle currently. Uh, mood cigarillo, yes, I think I did. The favorite, the favorite cigarillos that I tried were Monte Cristo. They were really good. But honestly, like, the difference between cigars, I can't really tell the, from brand to brand, like, the difference all that much, to be completely honest with you. Oh! Anakin Skywalker, go fucking away, man. Drink whiskey for the enjoyment, not to get drunk. I never drink anything to get drunk, honestly. I stopped drinking to get drunk at like 16 and after that. Like, I realized it's not for me. It's like not what I want to do in my life. <coughs> also, I don't like weed. I really don't. I smoked it a ton when I was in high school, but not really for me. <coughs> DS3 PTSD. Oh my god, yeah. Wait. What was the game that has the worst, worst fall damage? Uh, insert gadget name here. Nobody knows how Discord works. Don't worry. Was DS3 the game with the worst like falling damage? Oh yeah, I know that traveler. That, I actually do know that. That is a famous story from him. That is actually a famous story from him. But I think probably everybody in those days would have done that. Oh yeah, DS2 fall damage, yeah, it was absolutely horrible. I don't remember, I don't remember too much about Demon's Souls because I never played it fully to the end. We're gonna be doing a Demon's Souls playthrough, like, when I buy the PS5 because I need to actually finish the game for once. Wait, this guy has Pyromancies? Black Knife! Good fight. Ah, the Great Lab, yes. The Great Lab is also an interesting weapon, guys. It has innate faith scaling, which is interesting. No hit Soulsborne run. I do want to do a no hit trilogy uh, run, where you defeat Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Two, Dark Souls Three, without getting hit. But to do that, I will need to actually practice both e each of them individually. First, and my no hit run journey is gonna go like this, guys. First, I want to no hit run uh, Elden Ring. Then I want to no hit run DS One, then DS Three, and then DS Two. That's how I want to do it. I know the description, I, uh, I know. Actually, did I? Do I know the description? Too many things are happening, I need to mark Stone Digger Troll. Bye bye, Altos Plateau has been completed. Now we go Laurel Capital. Read its description. An enormous club of hardwood. Okay. Wildly hammering foes with this striking weapon requires no dexterity, only brute force. <laughs> While it may seem. Sacrilegious, this weapon is said to be a withered branch of the earth tree. Imbued with holy power, this weapon will never snap. I love how an enormous... I, I love the description. An enormous club of hardwood wildly hammering foes with this striking weapon requires no dexterity. <laughs> Only brute force. <laughs> like, that is very important to mention. This shit requires no dexterity. <laughs> it probably does do the most poise damage. I don't know. I haven't tested it. Alright. Uh, Mo the Omen, the Felt Winds, Grave Warden Duelist. That's Auriza Zero's grave. 
Esgar, Priest of Blood. Where the hell is Esgar, the Priest of Blood? Uh, all of these boss fights sound horrible. So let's start off with the Crucible duo. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I must unga the bunga. I'm on PS4 currently, Zero Toxic. I do plan to play the uh, the DLC on the PS5 first. Um, I basically just have Eldering on PC so I can actually uh, mod, mod things. I had got in the Shunning Grounds. Okay. I'll find him. Uh, we're going to be doing the skip for the, uh, for the for the sewers, basically. Because I hate going through the sewers. I don't think the Crucible 2 is going to be that bad, guys. I, we are pretty powerful. Like, don't, underestimate, don't underestimate Lord Two Shanks. Don't underestimate Lord Goddamn Two Shanks. Forty Vigor, and let's go. Forty Vigor is like my main point to get in every run first. Uh, we don't have Assassin's Gambit. I accidentally killed Bernal. So we don't have Assassin's Gambit. Uh, PS5 here is 500 euros, yeah. Quite expensive, but I have the money to buy it, so it's not really that bad. Oh my god, this goddamn run. This goddamn place. Wait. This is Auriza Saito. Wait, does Auriza Saito even have a boss for that? <coughs> ah, it's a Grave Warden Duelist. Okay. So let's go first for the Grave Warden Duelist. God, I hate this cave so much. In my country, PS5 is 1k euros? What in the fuck? Why? Why is it so much, guys? Yeah, it's this place, exactly. That's, that's basically everybody's reaction to this place. Bro. Bro, I hate these guys so much. Like, just die. Die! Die! He's not dead. Why are you not dead? Good fight. Bye bye. In Germany, you can get it for 350 euros? What in the fuck? Okay, I need a German friend to send me over a PS5, guys. <laughs> That's what I need. Actually, I have a German friend that can send me over a PS5. <gasps> I'm a genius. Okay. I know what to do, guys. I actually do have a German friend. I completely forgot that. They're called the Run Ender for many streamer. Probably not a bad name for them. Shanked. Who is my German friend? Long story. A lot of Germans come to Croatia, so I have a, quite a few German friends. Oh! Alexander's go away. Wait, is this just a dead end? Is this just a dead end? Okay, guys, you're gonna have to help me with this cave. Uh, because I'm a little bit stupid. And I have no idea how to progress to this cave. This seems like a dead end, yeah. Quack. I mean... 500 euros is not that expensive at the end of the day, but it, it's kind of, it's like the entire, that's it, like your average Croatian pay, mon monthly pay basically, which is, I'll, I would consider that to be expensive, yeah. Why the fuck is the PS5 so expensive in those countries, guys? <laughs> How did I not get staggered? What the hell? Okay. Toto <laughs> 20 million in what value, man? <coughs> okay, now I need to remember how to progress this place. Is this the place where I need to go? Bro, I hate escape. Uh, Visions of Samurai? There is no Samurai over here. Do we drop down here? In Romania, minimum salary is 350 euros. 
four salaries for one PS5. Jesus Christ. Why is the world this fucked up, guys? Ah! Ask the politician. I will. <laughs> I'm actually very, very political in my life, so... Uh, I will ask them. I will come up to their house. Tell you what the fuck, I want to buy a PS5, but I can't. That's why I hate children? Why do you hate children, man? <laughs> Depends on who you ask, but I don't want to get too political in this stream. That's not what we are here for, guys. <coughs> are these child pots? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, Miyazaki, we need to calm it down with goddamn teleporting and snaring traps. Like, you have gone a little bit too far. One of them should be enough. Oh yeah, this is the place. Perfect. If you go by minimum wages, it takes 11 months to pay. My god. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> they make sense. It's not like they are not like consistent. It's just that they are annoying. That is the problem. Like, they make sense, but they are annoying. Miyazaki is sending us to heaven, yeah, he's sending us directly into Malenia's ass. Bro, this is not a good place for Zoro, guys. This is not a good place for Zoro. Br imagine, in, imagine in One Piece if Zoro found a location like this. Bro would literally teleport directly to the One Piece. I swear to God and God. That, that, that's what would happen. Put Zoro in a place like this in the anime, or uh, uh, Eiichiro Oda, please. Do, do that, just do it. Let's see what's gonna happen. <coughs> Good place to enter, Joseph, right? Guys, I'm lost. What in the fuck were I need to go? Uh, Remy, thanks for joining in, man. Miyazaki. Where is the goddamn lever? <coughs> every Souls player ever when they get stuck in a place, roll into every single wall that exists. <laughs> because there might be a solution there. Uh, I know I'm making progress, I'm just not sure in which direction. <laughs> Backwards or forwards. Ah, let's smoke the weed. Yeah, in this place I'm actually canonically Zoro, indeed, yeah. <coughs> no, we need to actually go into this place. Uh, we are currently doing the randomizer gate run traveler. It's 4.15 in Germany now. I think I'm just gonna pirate the PS5. And by pirate, I mean break into a store and take one for myself. <coughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, that's also kind of pirating stuff, right? That has to be considered pirating. <coughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it either, my man. <coughs> Bro, what? Why are you alive? I have killed you like five hours ago. They lost too much money, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's follow the corpses of our enemies. Best marking locations. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we are all lost now. <laughs> you have always been lost, man. Trust me. Okay, let me check this chest. This chest leads to nowhere, right? 
We just make some video chat and slots like Tate Brothers and you're good to go. I don't want to do that. I I, I have some decency. <laughs> what's up? What's actually going on with the Tate Brothers? I haven't heard from them like in a month or two. Are they going to prison or not? Miyazaki was doing all the LSD, man, when he was doing this place. He, he forgot where he actually wanted to send the players to. They got out? Interesting. <coughs> Interesting. I would honestly just lock them up into jail because they were annoying. I don't even care what crimes they committed, they're just so annoying. My opinion, of course, but... It's the justice... It's the Romanian justice system. I don't know how it works over there. But it's probably as bad as Croatian one. I'm not level 120. What? Yes, finally the fucking lever, man. Like, searching a dungeon for a lever is never going to be fun. <coughs> Alright. Let's go kill the duelist. How many rune arcs do I have? Three. That's okay. That is okay. This dungeon actually completely exhausted me, guys. Com I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, you have the grave cloak that I want. Not gonna be even bothering with your minions. We're just gonna be slapping you. Actually, no, scratch that. Let's kill all the minions. How do you know he from every goddamn boss in the game? That is, seems to me impossible, man. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hit. Elden Ring. That's good tracking, though. The black knife. The black knife, unlike Sacred Blade, has some decent tracking. Also, I hate mid rolling. Mid rolling is so like getting used back again to mid rolling is so difficult. When you get used to, like, light rolling. It's so difficult to get used to mid rolling. That is how better light rolling actually is. And did you. Destroyed the Grave Warden without any healing flasks. Nice. Alright. That's how he's at side tomb, 69 plus 5, 15? 15. Black knife is badass, yeah. They are weak with backstabs, but you're not trying to go with go for backstabs. If you could backstab every single boss in the game, that, that would be useful. But it's not. <coughs> Dragon Castrator, thank you. Thank you for calling me still that. Uh, let's go into the Crucible duo. I don't know why, guys, but the word shank is such a fun word. I don't know why. Uh, have any of you guys played uh, uh, Escape, from Escape from Butcher Bay? The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay is the, na is the, name, is the game called. That is a very, very old game, but I still remember it quite well. It was actually super fun to play. <laughs> Talking about Shanks, that's what I remember. Good name drop? Yeah. Uh, there are like five Destined Death weapons. Watch. There is the Gargoyle's Black Blade. There is the uh, Black Knife. There is Malekev's Black Blade. There is like those twin blades that don't do destiny death, but they have like destiny death infused with them. <clears throat> but destiny death is a little bit too strong, so I'm kind of glad it doesn't exist. Black axe, yeah, also that one. This is gonna be a fun boss fight. All right, guys, this has to be a fun boss fight. The problem is getting to the boss fight.
Gargoyle's Black Blade is underrated. I never tried it, so I don't know how good it is. But it does, it does definitely look cool. Okay, Charleston, where is the goddamn boss fight? Uh, Erby, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly, Lord Vader, like, what, what is that question even? Popcorns are coming. Eh, it's not gonna be that interesting, guys, I'm telling you. The Crucible 2 is gonna be felt quite easily, I think. Don't turn around, just run forward. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright. Wait, you think the Crucible Duo is the worst boss fight? Have you even fought the Godskin Duo, guys? Oh, yeah, this needs to be. Oh, whoa, this doesn't need to be opened. <laughs> I love how everybody's falling for the secret. That is just the best thing today. I'm gonna remove the secret for next stream because it's not gonna be fun if I have it like in every every single stream, but today it was definitely fun. Alright. I like the gods can do a fight. You my men are not okay. <laughs> Is everything alright? There is probably a couple of people that like the, the, the gods can do a boss fight, but I think you guys are in the minority. <laughs> Gargoyle Duo is fucking stupid, yeah, I agree. These guys are pretty holy new, so this is gonna be a problem. I need to take out one with Black Knife. And then we're gonna be fighting the other one legitimately. Because fighting them like this is insanely impossible. Like, what? What? How did I get Bombo comboed, man? Godskin Duo is fun if you're playing with someone else. That's why they did put, like, Bernal in front of that boss fight. What about two Abductor Virgins in the Tiny Cave? They don't have that much HP, Carolina, so I'm not really that uh, against them. Like, double boss fights are okay sometimes, and the, the, the Virgins do have some... They do have, like, some uh, variety, so... Man. It's not like I don't like double boss fights, that's not true. Like, Orenstein and Small are great double boss fights. It's just double boss fights need to be done right. Slap! Wait, I need to test out the Blade of Calling here. Can I knock these guys back? Yes, I can. Bro, the Blade of Calling is actually incredible for poise damage. It seems to be super, super good for poise damage, guys. We're gonna keep that in mind for late. Why am I getting... Combot, comboed. Oh no. Strongest Ash of War in the game, and the second strongest. Both of these Ashes of War are great for PvP. Super difficult to use, but very, very fun. I'm just Blade of. Like, I'm not even gonna try. Like, just gonna Black Blade one of them first. Oh fuck. <laughs> Get your runes, Toto? No, don't worry. You don't really have any rules. Oh. Forgot to drink the flask. Touch! Black knife. Slap. And he dodged it for the love of God. Okay, why are they why are they firing both of their weapon arts at the same time? That is impossible. How, how did I dodge that? I'm actually insane. Nope. Run, 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 black knife. One down. Now Ordovis needs to be just taken care of. Easier said than done. They do some solid damage though. Bro, Ordovis, what in the fuck? What is your damage output, Ordovis? Oh my god. Okay, we can jumping attack him to death, I think. 
<laughs> Thank you, Ordovis, for that beautiful display of absolute domination. Barely able to dodge that. We need to jumping attack them because we are currently using like a holy build. We're not doing optimal damage right now. We need to rely on other things here. Also black knife. Also black knife. Because you slap him once and he's already dead. Jump. Oh! I need to remember that Ordovis actually has a huge tail swing. I need to remember that. I remember when I fought him once and he just like hit me on the other side of the arena with his tail. What? Toto, why is your... Re oh, okay, that, that's, that is what I'm talking about. Like, that range is insane. <clears throat> like, Ordovis could fight goddamn Morgoth from the arena right here. With a tail attack. Also, it comes out goddamn nowhere for some reason. Okay, we can punish that with jumping attack. And useful. Let's finish off with Death and Death. Death and Death finisher. And a beautiful finish. GG. Told you guys it wasn't gonna be that tough. We have a pretty good build. Very, very good build. 69 plus... Uh, to be fair, I was abusing the Black Knife. 69 plus... 16. Uh, Crucible Knight. <coughs> nice. <coughs> I want to see how you killed Sister Frida and Father Ariandel. I actually haven't had too much trouble with Sister Frida or Father Ariandel. Like, you learn how to fight and they're not that difficult at the end of the day. Why plus 16? Because 69, Evo. <laughs> Because I'm that, ju that I'm that, I'm that comedically stunted. So yeah, that's why. <clears throat> All right. Let's go grab the felt winds and uh, what's the other boss fight? And then let's go back into the shining grounds. Atenzo, thanks for the thanks for watching, man. Yeah, we're gonna be taking care of the felt winds first, and then we're going to the shining grounds for Mo, for Mo, and Esgar. That's what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> Poor Bushy tried to kill her and father for three and a half hours and couldn't do it. He was doing it on a plus zero upgraded weapon, so... <laughs> I think you, I think that, that's the reason why. I, I'm pretty sure Bushy can defeat those guys. He's do, currently doing a Dark Souls 3 challenge, so... It's probably the reason why I couldn't defeat him. Yeah, it is, it's going to be 69 plus 69 plus X, yeah. What's 69 plus 69? I'm actually incredibly bla bad at arithmetic. It's Do the mother build that uses the closest thing to a belt. With the first dog shit build or something. <clears throat> For the little blasphemous frost tag is I will. I think what you're going to be doing is before we actually go into Volcano Manor, we're gonna be switching into an intelligence build. That's what you're going to be doing, guys. Uh, because we need an intelligence build to optimally kill the Rikard. But we're gonna have enough intelligence and we're gonna have enough faith just to wield the uh, Black Knife as well. But we need Frost for uh, Rikard, yeah. Without Frost. Why failed with Toto? Because the Earth Steel daggers synergize perfectly with Faith build. <coughs> yeah, 69 plus 69 is a force of greed. I already did a Jesus build, Carrot Man. It's on my channel. It's called Jesus Christ has invade it has invaded you I think. Something like that. I forgot what the video is called on my channel but it's called Jesus Christ something. <coughs> Frozen needle is a rapier. Yeah. 
most will use for this int build. We are going to be using the glintstone Chris. That's what I'm going to be using. I want to showcase all the interesting daggers. So we're going to be using the glintstone Chris. Ah, uh, but for Rykar, I, th I think we're going to be using Horfrost Stomp or something like that. Haven't actually decided for the Ash of War against Rykar. Butter nice, yeah. Uh, pick Ahmad, thanks for the compliment. I should have grabbed the Grace beforehand or whatever. Ivory Sickle. What does the Ivory Sickle even do, guys? I think that one gives you, like, souls, runes. Need to do an Eldering John run. No weapon, no hit. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm able to perform a muscle up, yes. Yes, I am. I learned that, like, eight years ago. Glintstone, Chris, and Frozen Dagger. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Where do we even get the Frost Attachment? Let me grab the Grace here down, and then let's go for the Felt Winds. <coughs> ah, the Ivory Sickle is magic damage. Interesting. We might be able to rock the Ivory Sickle then. We'll see. Strength Faith Build. Oh, the Beast Claw, Great Claw. The Beast Jaw, Great Claw, whatever it's called. The one you get from Guarang. The What's it called? The Great Hammer. The Beast Great Hammer. I have no idea what it's called. Just want to grab this Grace. Uh, both. Uh, Ashura Maru. I can do both a ring muscle up and a bar muscle up. Let's go back here. How's the run going? Pretty good. We're just now, right now clearing out the capital. Uh, let's go take care of the Felt Winds and then let's go back to mode uh, Omen. Oh yeah, the Glintstone Web. I think I picked it up already. Also, this site is perfect. Look at this. Beautiful. I forget. How you Sometimes I just need to stay for a while and just look at the game. It looks so good. The knife is the most bullshit pot ever. We already have the Blade of Calling. Alright, Felt wins. Let's go. 69 sus. This boss fight actually scared me when I first encountered it. Did not expect it. It is beautifully designed. There are people who complain about the level design though. But overall, the game is beautiful. What is the fucking karate kick there? Wait, does he have a blood flame? How long is that grab attack? Oh, yeah. Why is every enemy in Elden Ring, like, holding their attacks like they're waiting for a goddamn... Okay, the other one is here. In this case, in th these double boss fights are plenty, it seems, in Altus Plateau. Altus Plateau seems to really love your double boss fights. Why am I fat rolling? <laughs> Karate kick, okay. I jumped over that. Insane. Will we stop, please? Yo, I need Crackblade for daggers. I need some type of poise damage. Not being able to do poise damage in this game is actually really disadvantageous. Oh! Bro, what the fuck? Blackblade. And GG. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Your turn. Nope. Nope. Hell is this? Okay. <gasps> he actually has a follow up on that. Oh my god. Okay. No, no, no. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone, my man. Leave me alone. You have your fire. I have mine. It's called Black Death. Go away, man. Like, you're way too scary with that goddamn curved greatsword. Ah, those are these guys that do the flip. I haven't fought these guys, like, since my first playthrough. Okay. Back off. Like knife. 
This is why I love having like an offhand ranged attack. Because it allows me to always continue fighting the boss. If I can fight him up close, I can fight him from... Wait, these guys do so much damage, man. These guys actually do so much damage. Need to kill him fast. They do way too much damage. Okay, now we finish off with Black Knife. No, 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 no. You should kill him. GG. Nice. Very, very nice. 69 plus 17. Ooh. Yeah, there are so many gods can do a fights indeed. <clears throat> Don't spam attack. I have I have a bad like uh, muscle memory to always spam the attacks when I do like dagger builds for some reason. But GG. 69 plus 17. Very very nice. Fell twins. And now we need to take care of two more bitches. In the catacombs. Yeah, I have no idea what you're doing, guys. I was just focusing on the fight right now. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to... Uh, Armored Core 6. Uh, Starfield looks okay, but I don't trust Bethesda. Uh, honestly, it's those games that I'm not looking forward to that surprise me the most. Like, I was very, very surprised with Subnautica, with Outer Wilds, Battle Bit, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's really the games that you're not looking forward to that surprise you the most at the end of the day. Those are the games that gave me the most, like, enjoyment. <laughs> in the last couple of, like, months. Silt Song as well. Like, Silt Song, Silt Song feels like it's early. Why is my chat disconnected? What the hell? What the hell is going on, YouTube? Chat, you are disconnected. Why? Successfully connected. Nice. What's frozen, guys? Stream issue. Stream is frozen? Okay, guys. Wait, is everything okay? We're back? Is everything alright, guys? Random YouTube moment, it seems. A random YouTube... Random YouTube moment. <laughs> I was panicking. You're not losing your life, man. Stream was frozen? I saw the chat was disconnected. But thankfully, didn't miss guys anything, don't worry. Nothing happened. <laughs> I just went into the sewers. I went into the pee pee poo poo place. Very laggy. How can it be laggy? It, it's not on my part, guys. I'm, 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 uh, I'm promising you that, guys. Like, if it's laggy, it's not my part because every sign in OBS is telling me that everything is going alright. It has to be direct, directly YouTube platform problem. It has to be. Oh, we can also get a plus 7 smithing stone here. That's not really that important. Let's go grab the plus 7 smithing stone here, actually. And then let's go beat up the pee pee poo poo man and uh, the rest of these idiots. Yes, it's a 165 bosses run, yeah. These runs are actually quite fun from time to time. Uh, type exclamation mark run if you want to know the full details. Something weird is happening with YouTube, yeah. <laughs> YouTube does have like these timeouts. I've noticed from, from when I was... What the fuck? <laughs> YouTube does have these timeouts from time to time when I uh, try to do something. Oh, we're guys going to be doing now a skip here in this place, which is going to take a while to do. When is the run going to finish? Probably next week. Next week you're gonna be doing the rando run and this run again. So probably next week we're gonna be finishing this run. Next video is going to be the shield only run, guys. That's what I have planned. And I got grabbed. And I got fucking grabbed. Well, these hands are literally the hardest enemy in the game, I swear to god and god. I'm most afraid of enemies that I can't outrun, like these idiots. Also, when they're flying. Die! Just go away, you're way too creepy, like, I don't like fighting you. You guys are way too goddamn creepy. 
of the pee pee poo poo man and not. Bro, I'm just wasting rune arcs like way too easy. They're all tanky as well, da. Very much. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Thank you, Henry, for the compliment, man. <clears throat> They're way too tanky, that's true. There are so many worse enemies that I can think of, guys. Like, rune bears, revenants, these hand motherfuckers. Like, so many I can think of. Like, they were... The one thing I need to give this game is the amount of enemy creativity and enemy rage that this game induced into me is really big. Yeah, they are very creepy, I agree. The birds, the warhawks, my god. I can think of so many of them. <laughs> Who's my favorite Elden Ring YouTuber? Hard question. I don't really pick favorites there. Really hard question for me. Eh, yeah, probably Lil Luggy. Like, Lil Luggy is the one I wish the most at him. That doesn't hit him? That is a scam. <coughs> Let's take off the children first. And the mother is already awake. Oh my. This is not a place to fight the hands. It really isn't. The mama broke, the mama hand broke. Now's our time to strike. Strike from the shadows. Mother, go away! What in the fuck? Why is this hand a freight train? It hits like a train. It looks like a train. <coughs> <coughs> We did, we did get a plus 7, which is a good thing. I swear to god, this hand is harder than Mo. Uh, roguelikes, not really. Never actually played too many of them, to be honest with you. <coughs> also, my throat is starting to bug me, guys, again. That means we are at the 3-hour mark. Let's finish the sewers and the call today. Where's Great Room? Uh, probably... I don't know. Rykards, maybe? Kinda hard to tell what's the worst Great Room. I can tell you the best one, which is Godric's. Malenia's is the worst? What does even Malenia's do? It gives you, like, health regeneration, right? Uh, how do we get to the place where I need to do the skip? The catacomb, the, these catacombs get you to Edgar. Uh, 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 brain fart. Edgar, 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 Edgar. I have no idea. I need to get to the place where I need to do the like very very hard skip first. It's the same healing mechanism. So the rally, okay. Yeah, I, have, I will do the super elevator skip, yeah. I'm not really good at doing the skip, though. So it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. Uh, 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 uh. uh super skip is over in this direction, I think. Some comment asked me, uh, in for my previous run, the aberrant sorceries that I did. Uh, would Malenia's Great Rune actually work with those sorceries? Those sorceries uh, damage you. So if you have Malenia's Great Rune, would you get healed that amount of damage back if you hit the with the spells? That's actually a good question. Actually, a very good question. I need to test it later on. I'm quite curious about that one. Yeah, we're doing most skip. I'm mean, not doing most skip, we're doing the sewer skip. If I can figure out how to do the sewer skip. Have I told you guys how much I hate this place? <laughs> Have I expressed my deep dissatisfaction with this place?
how good do you think the aberrant sorceries are? Not really good. Like, e even with my build that basically broke the entire game, they are still bad sorceries. Like, you just use better sorceries. You can do the same thing with just better sorceries and you have a more powerful build. But they are not all bad. Like, they have some unique cir cir circumstances where they can be used. <laughs> Yeah, but I also punishment versus Malenia was insane. <laughs> that is agreed. Oh, that's a smithing eight. Wait, you get in the sewers as a smithing eight? Jesus Christ. They they really allow you to over level in the sewers. My god. Fucking smithing eight out of nowhere. I didn't even I forgot even the smithing eight even existed. It's kind of insane. It kind of is a little bit insane that you can get a plus nine weapon. Like so easily in this game. Like that's a little bit insane, isn't it, guys? Uh, Ruben, thanks for joining in, man. Alrighty, then now we are at the hard part. We need to do elevator sewer skip. You just need to get now the plus nine in Kaled and you're done. Insane. My bad. No, it's the wrong way, don't worry. This place reminds me of the dragon lore, dragon god fight in, da in Demon Souls, for some reason. <laughs> no Robert today, you know. Okay, here is the here is the elevator sewer skip. Now I need to remember how to do it. I think it's over here, right guys? And then we need to jump for that thing. Oh my god. Wait, actually, first try? Bro. Bro. I'm the best editing player in life. <laughs> actually, first try, guys. What the hell? Bro, this is one of the hardest skips to do, in my opinion. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Giga Chat status has been unlocked officially, guys. But we just kind of, like, zipped through the entirety of the sewers, guys. Insane. Actually, first try. I'm actually proud of myself right now. Is thought the triceps better than let me solo her? Generally in the game, probably, but against Malenia, probably not. Give us a flex after that. <laughs> oh, let's, let's take care of Surmo first. Uh, type exclamation mark run, Ruben. Surmo! Let's go! How much damage we do? Not bad. He's a boss fight at the end of the day. Uh, the good thing about Mo is we should have brought the shackle. I should have brought the shackle here. Mistake. Sewer Mo is not going to be that difficult at the end of the day. Maybe he is. Sewer Mo, calm yourself. Sacred Blade again. Should have definitely brought the shackle. Mistake. Okay, let's fight. Let's go. That can't be straight, right? I need to actually figure out how to better fight Mo up close and personal. I'm pretty good at fighting him with like longer weapons though. Seems to be pretty cold resistant as well. Bro, Sacred Blade actually solves the problem of not having enough range. If he brought the shackle, we could have done a lot more damage to him. But no matter, he's gonna die anyways. He is not surviving Lord Two Shanks. But I'm still amazed about the first try sewer skip. That was insane. No way. Like I, I remember practicing that uh, that jump. Like took like hours to get down, and then first try. <laughs> Black knife! Uh, fun fact, you can actually dodge things with the black knife, so we can actually use the black knife against Godfrey very, very nicely, which is gonna be fun. Hop! Dodge! Missed my dodge pattern. Slice! Seems to be pretty holy resistant. I know he's like 80% fire resistant, right guys? 
I didn't know he was holy resistant, but it probably is. I mean, he's kind of like the center of the goddamn golden order, so that would make sense. Dodge! Jumping attack! Dodge again! Black knife! Hmm. 40 holy resistant. Did we stagger him? Hiya! Perfect finisher, actually. GG. Good fight. Thank God he doesn't need heal in this fight, indeed. Thank the lords. He does give 100k, though. He's insane. Earth tree favor. Nice. He's a pedophile? I mean, depends on how you look at it. Nikola is blessed with eternal youth, but she is kind of like... 10,000 years old, so I don't think that actually certifies him as a pedophile. <clears throat> Alright. Guys, where the hell is Edgar? Oh, 18. Mo is dead. <laughs> I keep my first eye true. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where is Edgar? That is my question right now. I have no idea where Edgar is actually located. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to jail soon. He's in Sewer Catacombs. So it's not Cathedral of the Forsaken, it's Sewer Catacombs. What's the fastest way there, though? Uh, oh, I think I know how. Okay. Let's go underground roadside, jump to the uh, lobsters, and then just go from there. I, we're probably gonna see Mikola in the DLC, right, guys? Why would they put Mikola on the Shadow of the Earth Tree poster if they're not gonna show it in the DLC? Show him in the DLC. Why is it always near the lobsters, guys? If you want to watch a stupid run, go to Scumnut's channel and watch his all lobster run. It's actually hilarious. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Grab the fire grease. How am I so good? I literally play the game all the time. <laughs> I'm not even that good how much I should actually be. Uh, I could be a lot better if I actually focused like, on speedrunning and no running, but I'm focused more around creating funny ideas or cool ideas, I should say. If I put like all the time that I played Elden Ring in like, speedrunning and no running, probably be around Geno level. Not Gino level, but th around that. It's not my focus, though. Alright. He's gonna spit up. Oh, Lobster Run would be similar to the Battle Royale with only snipers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. Leg armor in thumbnail, it's the prelate set. Prelate set. But to get the prelate set to look really good in leg, uh, in your legs, or for the leggings, you need to actually uh, make your character leg smaller. In the character creation, I mean. Then the prelate set looks really, really good. Uh, for the leggings. Okay, another day, another catacomb. Thankfully, cl we cleared out most of the bosses in the game at this point. We just need to clear out most of the other ones. Alright. Uh, is it down here? Guys, where do we... Why am I getting lost immediately? Oh, here. I'm an idiot. It's here. I like how big your ties look. The problem is if your ties are normal with your character, they will look giant in the prelate set. D 
the FBI is in the chat. I'm the FBI in this case. I mean, Lord is also a huge help as well. Uh, Jesus Christ. Wait, why did I... That's interesting. That animation is not really happening often when you pick up things. Interesting. Loretta chest... Ah, uh, yeah, Loretta chest piece does give you dummy thick ties, but... The prelate set does... Even more. Explosion! Another one. Run! Raptor talons are epic. Don't Raptor Talons actually increase uh, jumping attack damage? I think they do. No, 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 no. Fell twins go away. I already beat your brothers. Please leave me alone. Like, when is it enough? Bro, I hit mid rolling. Mid rolling is so slow. It's so much easier when you light roll. But I know light roll is OP at the end of the day. Oh, he's still following me. Go away, man. <clears throat> yeah, but why does Bloodhound's Fang have increased jumping attack damage? What the hell is that, Miyazaki? Wait, what? This is not a boss fight? Oh my god, the brother came. What the fuck? He dunked me. What? LeBron fucking James, ladies and gentlemen. I got yeeted. Literally yeeted. The other way, Toto. Toto hasn't been in these dungeons very often, trust me. Lee James without Brown. <laughs> uh, favorite YouTuber is uh, Dug Dug. That I do have. Dago is by my by far my favorite YouTuber. I don't know if you watched his latest video that he actually posted. It's just absolute. It's a laughing fest. It's so funny. When is next stream? Friday. Dog dog, yes. Yeah, 165 bosses really show you how much you missed. But to be fair though, it's not really good content what you missed. Jesus. <laughs> no! That coffin is my check mark? Okay. <coughs> Come on, let's clear out the fur the last boss for this stream. Next stream we are going to the mountaintops. Uh, here maybe? This looks like a hidden wall. This looks so much like a hidden wall, I can't believe it's not. Okay, stop kicking me, please. The mist content isn't that good, yeah. When you compare it to, like, the... Uh, to the main content. It's fine. Bro, what the fuck is up with these fell twins? Like, will they leave me alone? Do I really need to kill you? I don't want to waste time. He's gonna be following me to the end of the earth. Here? This looks like the place where I need to go. Nothing? Until you kill another dragon? I mean, we're gonna be killing dragons very, very soon, because in the mountaintops we have Borealis. <coughs> no wonder I'm lost, guys. We are playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring is literally bigger in uh, square feet or meters, meters squared than Croatia. And I get lost in Croatia all the time, so no wonder I'm getting lost here as well. I don't even know where the gate is. Gate open? Somewhere a heavy door has been opened. But I don't know where. I mean, they, they did... I think, I think they did the best they could with the catacombs, guys. 
Uh, because honestly, the catacombs are so many, and so, so, so many of them are not unique, but very different from one another. Edgar! Oh, yeah, my these idiots. Oh, my God, not the dogs. Not the goddamn dogs, Miyazaki. Why is it always the dog? What? <laughs> I'm alive! What the fuck? Why is it always the dogs? Why is it always the dodging dogs? Oh, no, the Edgar has Reduvia again, my God. Edgar, go fuck, fuck yourself, Edgar. Esgar, or whatever you're called, I don't even care. Get your ass over here, get shanked. You're not the only one with daggers. But you're the only one with Reduvia. Heal. No! Bad Edgar. Die. Jeez. Nice. Lord of Blood. Perfect. That is the final boss in Altus Plateau. I was not Italian, no. <clears throat> All right, 69 plus 18, actually 19. Sweet 19. My god, this was a goddamn wild stream. We killed 30 bosses this stream, I think. Something like that. Some somewhere around 30 bosses we killed today. Jesus almighty. Uh, let's clear out all the marks. Actually, no, just let, let's just, yeah, yeah. let's just remove all the marks and let me mark these idiots. There are two bosses here that need to be still killed, but we can't get to this place yet. Ooh. Okay, guys, let's let's figure out the plan before we end this today. So now that we cleared Altus Plateau, we have to go into the mountaintops. We can't go yet into Mount Gelmir or Kaelid. But my plan currently is mountaintops, after we defeat the fire giant, we go back into Kaelid, clear out Kaelid, and then clear out Mount Gelmir. I think that sounds like a good idea. What ending am I picking? Probably just the basic ending. I don't really care about the other endings right now, I've done all of them multiple times. I think that's going to be a good idea. In the mountaintops we get the thorny crack tier, which we really need. In Kaelid, Kaelid is harder actually. In Kaelid we get... Uh, we get uh, the Millicent's Prosthesis, which we also need. We also get Crackblade, uh, Flame Grant Me Strength, which we also also need. And uh, the Flame uh, Infusion for the, the daggers. So that's going to be the way. Yeah, we're going we're doing that way. Uh, Kaelid is harder because we don't have the upgrade materials to level up uh, our weapons. We, we need to go to Mount Tops to get the Bell Bearings to level up. To upgrade the weapons. And after that, we're going to be doing all the other locations. Guys... I hope you enjoyed this one today. We are at the 3 hour 20 minute mark, so I've done a more a, an extra stream for today. I'm actually gonna go do another workout, because why the fuck not, that's good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'll probably, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow some Chivalry 2 or Battle Bit in the Discord. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed the stream. Try this build out, try this run out, it's really fun. And have a good morning, evening and afternoon, and I'll see you guys all on Friday. Bye-bye, guys.